going on, y'all, man? It's the Black Street Boys Podcast, man. First episode of this, man. Yeah, yeah, Doing yeah. real good, man. For real, man. We, we expecting a lot good things to come from this, man. But uh, let's kick it off, man. Starting off, name's Brandon. You know what I'm saying? Young, fine, sexy, digressing, man. Sex simple. You already know who it is, man. <laughs> to my right. It's Marge, man. You know what I'm saying? Tall, dark skin. Ain't nothing better than that. So black ass. Man, you got the GOAT. D Johnson, but I go by DJ. But also, I go by the goat. <laughs> I'm the nigga that's in your room right now, f-ing your wife, otherwise known as Jeremiah. Yeah, we're banned. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Plus, be the homies that's watching this shit, man. You f-ing they wife and shit, they spouse. It's an evil world, man. It's crazy. Oh, oh, I, was man. Just, I was just, I was just being extra though. I'm glad we here though. Glad yeah, we started here, this shit. Glad we here, man. Let's just hop right into the first first topic, man. You know what I'm saying? We was driving here, man, when them goddamn gas prices, man. I ain't gonna front. It's getting outrageous, my brother. Oh, <laughs> Father, you get out, though. Carry or get, bro. Like, it's getting outrageous, my brother. I ain't gonna front. I th- think I filled up my tank yesterday. Are you actually yeah. filled it all the way up? Hell no. Nah, I don't never do that, boy. Say, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I ain't filled, I filled up my, my gas foot, all the way in about two years. Down. I be putting my foot down, my brother. I ain't gonna brother. lie. I think the, it's been like six months since the last time I've actually filled up a whole tank. Your black ass ain't got no car. Man, oh, I, he got a car. Nah, hey, nah, I had nah, to nah, put him out yeah. like that. Want, hey, you want to? You want to? You want to? You want? You want to tell him that, man? Because I had that in my notes. That's some crazy ass shit, man. When I tell you, man, you can't make this shit up. You want to break it down? You want me to say? It? Well, tell him long story short, this nigga shit about to blow up. That's what <laughs> when I tell y'all, there's no other person on the planet that this would happen there, to. There's no one look, else, my brother. Look, so I, I got a, I got a 2006 black and Paula. It's my brother car I was gonna get it I was gonna buy it off of him Only problem with the motherfucker it, uh, it really is The head gasket I need a new one man I got the part I need, I need somebody to put it in for me But The car started off It run fine You can you can go around the block It's just You can't go <laughs> Talk more around the block <laughs> You it's just a bike. You can't go <laughs> around. You can't go around more than four times before the mother starts smoking on you. <laughs> Bro, that's a fucking bike, dude. Like you're literally driving a big ass that bike. That's crazy, man. So how, about how long do it? Okay, just to reiterate it again. Okay. To tell the audience again. So you mean to tell us right now that yeah. if you drive your car for more than about four blocks, when I'm here in about five minutes, that bitch starts smoking from the front. First, it's gonna start clinking. That that's the one, that's that's the warning sound. <laughs> it's all over that. It's, that. it's gonna start clinking a little bit. That's that's Jeez, the warning man. sound. You know, you driving you, you know so wrong. Your shit just start oh, start bumping and bumping love. out of nowhere. Like I said, it's good car, smooth man inside. Nice little. little yeah, that is not a good now, car, man. bro. If you can't all drive it is smooth. a head gasket, boy. It's a good car. You, you mean like the inside, like the seats and stuff? Yeah, not not the under the not inside the hood. Okay. Everything on the interior smooth. Except smooth, for the interior smooth. of the hood. Yeah, under the hood is just where it's at. No shit for the GTA, yo shit, boy. You drive that bitch too long, bitch. Blow, gonna up. blow up, right? I, I, I like to call it that shit bang, crazy, bang, man. <laughs> when you drive down the block and start making noise, <laughs> god <laughs> damn, like, yeah. boy. We are fearing for this man's life. Oh god, man, we can't, we can't never let you come up here by yourself, my bro. Real, somebody got pick his ass up. You know what I'm every saying, you my dog, man. We can't let you go out like that, man. <laughs> uh, wait, give me till a couple weeks, man. I should have some work. Some coming uh, in. So I'm gonna take care of that for you, man. Shit. So so so, how long has this been? Cause like, what action are you taking to fix the shit? I got multiple mechanics. It's just a, the the part. The thing is, it's not getting. It's the part getting it done that's really the, the problem. Not everyone knows how to go in the engines and go in like that. So okay, okay. So why don't you just take it to an actual mechanic? Stop being cheap again. That. The car doesn't run. I can't really just drive the car up to the mechanic. Ah, shit! Before you got me start there. smoking. Fucking a. All right, just own this nigga ass over this car, man. We shit not own his ass. Shit, 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 shit happens. Crazy. Shit, shit, shit happens. Man, I've had to get the hoopty a couple times. You know what I'm saying? That's what my mama called it. You yes, know? Yes, 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 everybody yeah. call it. Shit. They all start to break down. Ain't nothing folks. you can do. Ain't nothing you can do. Man, I'm cooling with my, you know, my little. Shit, it don't matter. It don't matter though with these gas prices for real. You ain't. It ain't no point. How man, much niggas definitely point right having a car? You talking on that? No, nah, I'm saying you know how much niggas is paying right now, man. Yeah, I paid fifty to fill up. I'm, I'm telling you, my brother, that shit. I went to the tank the last time I went, <laughs> and I saw that bitch was five sixty something. Yeah, it's five. Nigga, I said I know it. No, fuck this shit, bro. I'm putting my goddamn foot down. 
I put twenty dollars in that bitch, and that's it. Well, but I ain't gonna front. At this point, all that shit do is get you around the goddamn corner. <laughs> this is outrageous. You gonna be putting your foot down to walk everywhere you go if you. At this point, that nigga, ass, if so. that once that shit get to six dollars, nigga, I'm time about to, to be time on a goddamn bicycle. <laughs> time to Man, get a bike. Uh, fuck that. I'm gonna get a goddamn hoverboard. I I'm about to be in this bitch what? leaning forward and shit. <laughs> I told you. I told I my dad to bust my ass. Sixteen again, this motherfucker. Come on, I know man. a little horse stable around the way, oh, man. Grab you a nice stallion. I'm saying we could be going back to goddamn them horse buggies in this bitch. Grab you a nice stallion. Get a book bag full of apples. That's your gas right there. And the thing is, and the thing is, we talking about how bad it is and shit. But you know, like even like in U.S. dollars, like the U.S. is like the kind of like lower kind of tier that this country. That's just like eight, ten, some plus dollars for gallon. Like in American like equivalent dollar. Shit is crazy. Yes, and some man. of them countries broke. Man. So imagine that. They finna be like the Flintstones. They got a goddamn just <laughs> the a rock. Sad, sad times. Sad times. Uh, you know, <laughs> sad um, times. Over there the, in that car. Uh, you look at the bottom, see their feet shuffling and shit, boy. That's just ridiculous. The government is talking about giving um, all Americans like a like a rebate almost for uh, gas per month. So it's basically like $100 a month per person. So it's like a gas gas subscription. Like, like, like do that. Stimulus maybe? check almost. Like oh, okay. Give you a hundred dollars check. Okay. The way I see it, that is a terrible idea. I'm giving these people back a hundred dollars for gas. For First what? of all, it ain't gonna help nothing because this a hundred dollars ain't gonna cover much. Most people here paying a hundred dollars. One ten be seventy. Man, a hundred dollars. If you even try to stretch that, that's gonna last you about a couple of days. It ain't gonna. <laughs> Trying to say, so I'm like, and then you, you good know, to go to working back for two Lord, days, and then you say, fill it up again. God, God forbid, you gotta like travel into the city or something oh, like that. You got like a 45 you're minute drive. That's an hour and a half that. of driving per day. And they'll just be going tax down. You on it. They'll just at this point, bite you in the ass. I don't it. go yeah, nowhere like that I don't. Oil. You said what? Yeah, I ain't like we ain't got no oil. <laughs> yeah, a whole lot of oil in Texas. I don't know what the hell going on, man. It don't feel like we got no oil. What the hell? Why are they so high? If we got oil, why the shit so goddamn high? Thought the shit was gold or something. Man, scarce as hell. I don't know what the hell going because be honest, I don't be paying attention to that goddamn politics either. like that. I don't I, either. Hey, that's me. I'm man. I I, I pay attention. It's crazy because I was crazy I was for sure. Pay attention to that kind of stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy because I was a political science major. Man, damn man, you don't pay attention to. I'm nah, not no more. Former political science major. Fuck that I'm shit. Former. Hey, that's annoying, bro. They right. they, be, they be like goddamn children on TV. Hell yeah, man. If, Hell if, yeah. If you if you, I tell you right now, if you really pay attention to politics, like for real. Wait, hold on. Do you just turn your mic off? What talking to it again? I said, if you pay attention oh, let me stop. to your, I'm, I'm being stupid. My bad, my bad, my bad, brother. My bad, my brother. Oh man, I thought my mic was off or something. No, you good? If you pay attention to politics for real, man. They really are telling you to your face how how bogus they want to run this place, man. <laughs> man I don't think no. You gotta watch it to know that though. Like, man, man, most nah. motherfuckers. If you know, li- have you listened to? The conversations these white folks be having on the screen. I don't have to. It's. I mean. It's white folks almost like I know they kind of asinine with a lot of this man, shit, man, or extremists man. at least. Do you know who Ted Cruz is? Of course. Yeah, that was a. Uh, did you did you hear what this man said about no. the whole gun control thing? What do you say? Nah, I know you're trying to keep him. I know you're trying to keep him. Republican, to fight, right? Yeah, he said the only thing oh, yeah. to fight. He said that a couple years ago. Uh, uh, gun violence or bad citizens is good More citizens good. with guns. Exactly. He said that a couple few years ago, right? I, I remember that. Yeah. Teachers getting guns now. Yeah, like, come on. That's like, kind of that's ridiculous. Because what do you think? These motherfuckers, what are they going to do? They're going to train them to be a goddamn assassin or some shit? Yeah. These niggas ain't got aim like that? Yeah. You think, oh, let me try to protect the kid. Next thing you know, they shooting another kid in the night. Man, they, they got kids over here. You, I mean, I see no, them. I way, the way these bad ass kids is, you know, so these kids go get popped. Man, you the see thing these is, kids with body armor in a book bag? Oh, yeah, they have. You see them motherfuckers with bulletproof book bags, bro? Yes. How do you like, think of it? Huh? How do you think of that? Because them motherfuckers are getting shot. I'm trying to say. Niggas it's like, happening like every day now. A book bag, though? Niggas are living yeah, in a war zone Yeah, if you're shooting in your back, it's protection. If you're running away, you're shooting in your back. Niggas are living in a war zone for real. They got a... Shit is crazy. Since when did school become such a damn battleground, bro? Like, that shit is fucking weird. My, people are not going to like to hear my opinion on this, man. I'm going to keep saying it. Mm-hmm. It's white folks don't pay attention to their kids. It's something, man. Cause like I said, like I said, cause here's my thing: white We've people, for years, though. white people, like man, the man. moment they see like it's a white, cause like people, people talk about how white kids is the main motherfuckers shooting up schools, which is a fact, 100%. or the mass shootings, which, mm-hmm. which is a fact. 100%. You like to bring up like one little anecdotal case of where it's like a black dude or a Mexicano or some shit. I'm like, let's not. Okay, you you doing this like it's not still ninety 
five right, percent. Right. Y'all motherfuckers, y'all right. I ain't trying to make it they the right. I mean, I ain't gonna front, man. Like it what Dave Chappelle it say, it, it is what it is. Right, it is it, what it's it crazy. Is. They try to the odds are that your kids the majority. Expon- How are you gonna try to make the minority majority? How you gonna try crazy to, as hell. I don't understand it. It's, it's thing is they motherfuckers is just that they don't even want to try with the goddamn the gun shit like with the gun control. No, and they keep doing that same tired ass response about uh Chicago and shit, saying Chicago got some of the strictest gun laws in the country and blah blah blah. Not. I'm like, first of all, no, they don't. They like kind of like middle of the road. Ones that really do is like California. California, you can't get no gun legally in fucking Cali. <laughs> But I even in that. Illinois, all you gotta do is just cross over to like Indiana or goddamn Michigan or some yeah. shit. They got weak ass gun laws, and you yeah. just same way people go there and get and fireworks. Yeah, right. Same with they fireworks. go and get the straps and they bring them back here. Man, Most of them guns that's, that's around here is it. black market. That's how these. People it's like it's this is just readily available information, but motherfuckers <laughs> just don't give a damn about that because yeah. they just too busy with their goddamn confirmation bias. Shit is ridiculous. Well, and you know, it's like y'all motherfuckers can't even try. Americans are extremely patriotic, so you know the amendments, the right to bear arms. So yeah. if, you, if you threaten that, you know people gonna go in a riot. I should yeah. be able to walk around with a gun. You know, I understand it because you know, like I like guns. I don't think yeah. I don't think people I like guns understand. Too. Guns is cool. I guess that whole guns event. is cool. Think about it. If we I mean, if we never had no guns, then wouldn't it be no Call of Duty. Wouldn't be none of the shooting games. Shooting games fun as shit. Yeah, I but, guess. But, but look, but, back. but but do these motherfuckers, goddamn Kyle Rittenhouse, need to be? Strapped with a goddamn AR fifteen. No, that's no. the problem. That's why I'm still on. I'm still on that. I ain't go front. I'm still on that. But you can't really have both though. That's the thing. What do you know, mean? Like you can't really have. You can't sit here and say like without guns there'd be no game. But then be like, but this dude shouldn't have no Glock or this fucking gun that readily on his on his hip. Because without the game and all that shit, that's why people have guns. It ain't because of games, but they see shit in the military. They see movies and shit. See, I, I, it's, it's, it's I definitely, protection. I definitely agree to what he says in the fact of like we see the guns in these games and stuff. So we're so accustomed to seeing guns and being familiar with what kind of guns we can get and can't get and stuff like that. Like you can go into Walmart, bro, and you got a magazine up full of guns and like you can get a gun on a strap on Amazon too, yep. right? Yeah, look it bro. up. I ain't got no Foy card or nothing, but I, I, I almost put, yeah, I almost hit bro. by. It's just, yeah, man, I don't know, man. It's like, where do you draw the line? It's just that when you select these other countries, yeah, yeah there's still going to be crime. Like, obviously, there's still going to be crime. But I'm saying, like, they have significantly less gun violence. It's not like all the guns. Like, ain't no such thing as a mass stabbing, motherfucker. Yeah. Right. No such thing as a mass stab. You got to be fucking slow as shit yeah, well. <laughs> to be a victim to a mass stabbing. Didn't Chris that Rock do it? He did. He was spinning yeah. hot fat. He was spinning facts. Yeah. Like, man. But mo, motherfucker, he got stabbed. Oh, he got stabbed. He that, got stabbed too. That, that, that nigga, go another one. That nigga, that nigga <laughs> fucking stabbed me. Right. That, that make no like, damn sense. Yeah. That nigga a ninja yeah. or something. Come on, man. man. Hey, goddamn Shinobi. I seen this um <laughs> stat on. I think it was Twitter. So I don't don't call it credible because it's on Twitter. And we uh-huh. all know how Twitter is. Uh-huh. But it basically is like showing each country and like how many mass shooting school shootings they had. Bro, we have like oh, obviously, like, for, yeah, we have the top rate like two hundred and twenty eight. Amer- oh America yeah, we got more, like the worst this, more this year problem. than days. Yeah. I don't know. It's at this point, it's like only like a couple of them is gonna make like major news yeah, and course. shit, major like, news outlets. All the other countries, they had like below ten for like each country. Yeah, America. America scary. has a major problem, and, and I think we're and the only. All, I think we're aren't we the only country that has a right to bear arms? Uh, I'm not sure if we're the only one, but uh, mm. we're definitely one of the few. I, yeah, we're definitely one. I know some some countries have like certain restrictions. On I, them, I think so, we, like, we might only be have to I be think, a certain level are. of like. No, I think we are. Someone fact check that. Yeah, yeah. Let me fact check before I'm speaking. Because I'm pretty sure. Who got the phone? But I believe in certain countries, like. I mean, I know, I know South America. They don't care. Like these guys have choppers on the back of trucks, and you ever seen them videos, man? In Colombia, man, they go crazy down there. Them shits always not legal though. They They just got them shits. Those are like real military ass guns they have out there. So I don't know how the laws work in certain countries. I'm I'm pretty sure that's why we got such a big problem with that. I think we're one of. The Maybe not the only, but we're the only country I think that's really like. You might be right though. We might be the only one. Nope, we're not. It's three. Um, what are the other ones? So Mexico, three out of yeah, okay. Guatemala. See, so yeah, it's, it's, it's Mexico, yeah. Like that's gonna make sense. It's, it's exactly, exactly makes sense. You know, and it, it, over there, boy. Shout out to the, my Mexicano friends. We got a lot of Mexicano friends. Some oh, probably yeah. watching shout, this podcast. Shout, shout out to out, all man. the Mexicans, man. Shout, shout out to all the Mexicans. I love what y'all done stuff, man. I love it. However, it love this guy. When it comes to the homeland, man, I ain't trying. If I go to visit Mexico, I ain't trying to go to Mexico, Mexico. Oh, of course not. I'll go to goddamn Cancun. I mean, like the resort part. 
type I, shit. I, I the only people going to Mexico, yeah. Mexico is the motherfuckers that either got family there yeah. or they got people know. there. I look, there ain't no cartel, goddamn, taking my booty cheeks and putting from them on a the goddamn man. pedestal. Come on, putting man. them on the wall and shit. For real, like, from my, taking your from booty my knowledge, bro. Motherfuckers be, or be, I know they be like cutting, skinning motherfuckers' yeah. faces off and yeah. fucking wearing them as masks and shit. Bro, they was Texas chains. I say, oh, it's not that bad. Whatever, nigga, I don't give a fuck. I'm not taking no risk though. All right, you speak the language. They really don't. Man, a lot of countries don't even rock with black people like that. Oh, that's a fact. It's a fact. I feel like even in the United States though, there's a big beef between like, especially go like places like L.A. There is a huge L.A. got a get goddamn race war going back to like the goddamn crack era. Yeah, eighties. That, that's yeah. why you hear a lot of people in the movies talking about some. Oh, the Mexicans. Oh, the Mexicans. It'd be like blacks, literally blacks versus Mexicans. Yeah, that's so weird. Yeah, it's crazy. Why is that? And what's crazy to me is I mean they both just in the struggle. Same I, reason that black black people killing each I other. I feel like Mexicans is the closest Damn, thing you can get deep. to black right now. Like. You said and, what? And, and the, being Mexican is closer than you can be to getting the black. Like what the fuck you just saying? Being Mexican, is closer you mean like than you, being not, black. you mean like Mexican struggles and black struggles? Yeah, I'm like they're the closest thing to being. Kind of black. Oh, I thought you said Mexicans, in terms of like poverty. I and, misheard what you, know, you said. I thought he was saying Mexicans is closer to being black than black people. No, I'm like, like <laughs> being black that's a furniture else. moving in this month. Oh man. <laughs> No, <laughs> oh, that's just God. crazy. But like, man, you see the way history treated, you know, Mexicans and shit. We kicked them up. The white man kicked them out of their territories. Those well, over yeah. here, man. Well, you get they kicked all the motherfuckers out of their territory. I mean, white people, you you know, you know what they do, all right? They, they, that, they that's what over. they do. To, I know, divide over. and conquer. Now let me, let me pause that's and say do. I don't think white people are evil. I just think no, no, hey, 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 this nigga. Nah, you know he don't think white people need. If you if you know somebody, you know he stay with the vanilla around him. You know what I'm saying? That's different though. The women don't That's count. That's different. There's plenty. There's plenty of white women that 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 love having sexual have relations you, with black you, men, but they don't really give a damn about don't them. Don't be a menace. <laughs> you heard what he said? He said, "Hi, what's what's the best comeback to getting that white people?" He said, "Fucking them." <laughs> Andrew said the same thing. Hey, you get a you white girl. Technically, you the literally fucking the system. Don't mm-hmm. need to say it again. You, you heard what I said? Look at the camera and say that, Brandon. Black folk and all the black women. I know sometimes you get mad at the black men for going to the white girls, but think about it this way: if you get you a white girl and you knock her down, you literally fucking the system. The system. Damn. The system. Don't don't listen to these niggas. Don't listen. Nah, to nah, them. nah, bro. That's deep. It's a fact. Stop, that's bro. deep. That's deep, bro. Like, think it's about a fact. It, that's a do caption, you, nigga. Do you know what? Like, that's do you deep. Know what these Give me a white girl. I'm literally Damn. figuratively fucking the system. That's deep, Both. Though. Like, Jeremiah, do you know what the biggest fear of the elder white man is I right now? Man, I can't. Oh, do it. The, the, the extinction. The biggest fear is the extinction. Yeah, exactly. That's the, the same with the, the abortion and the mixture. That's why they doing this. That's why they doing that. That ain't nothing about. Oh, we saving the babies, God. No, they no. worry about them white preserving the white They're race. Trying to preserve yeah. they because race the Mexicans, because the Mexicans is catching up to their ass. Facts. Because soon they don't want to. Because right now they're still technically like the majority. Like they're still over sixty percent or something like that. But it's going down. I think like yeah. years ago it was like. Yeah. Of course, eventually, uh, uh, way back in the past, probably kind of like the eighties or nineties. Now yeah. it's like always in the sixties. Now like within the next twenty years, they're set to be like. Or 20, 20 years or so, they're set to be less than fifty percent. Still, like the most abundant group, mm-hmm. but right. like they might be like in the forty. So technically, they're not. It, technically, it's, it's the if, you're talking, if you're talking about Minority whites versus whole, everybody else, yeah, they'd be a majority. Be a majority. And I'm sorry, I, you can't tell me that them motherfuckers in the government don't give a damn about that. The motherfuckers oh, care. Yeah, no, they That's a good portion of and them they are. don't care. There's no like, way they don't care because because black people care too. I think black people be getting mad with, with the with the black dudes having babies with the white girls and shit. Right. I mean, I everyone kind of cares about that to a certain degree, cause even I do, cause it's like, yeah, I ain't gonna cap. I love me the white girls. Well, oh, let me see. I, I, fucking the system, but I wouldn't cuff. I ain't gonna front. That's just me though. Yeah, That's yeah. just me. Everybody got their own Latinas, family, bro. all of that. But yeah, at the same point in yeah, time, I look yeah, around. Yeah. I'm like, I love my black people, and I don't want to see us just go away. Cause if we have a mixed baby, guess what? If I married a white girl, he might want to go marry himself a white girl too. And now. He's fifty percent. He gets the white right. girl. Now he's twenty five percent. He gets himself a white girl. Soon we just gone. I'm telling yeah. you. Eventually they ain't gonna be no motherfucking purebreds. Like black ass no. motherfuckers like y'all. Dark skin motherfuckers. They ain't gonna be no more y'all I left, man. Who is saying like that. he is? Like, me, too, like, y'all. me too though. No, me too though. Me too though. I'm just saying that like as a hierarchy. Because you know that. what I'm saying? Because right now we kind of what? I do not believe that. What in the United States? I'm talking about United States. Eventually, that's the that's the that's that's the trajectory. So, now, as long as there's niggas that, like me, well, no, he's definitely we right. We will survive. No, let, me, let, me, let me get my I'm not saying there won't be none, but it's gonna be like it's gonna, it's gonna be looking around. Let me get my reason for I'll this, okay? As 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 you see, black men, young black men now, 
Right. We have an issue with. Nah, I can't even say we have an issue because black men don't have no issue with black with black women. We love, I love black women. Some of y'all do. Yeah, 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 they do. But it's okay. Yeah, so I, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess we can get to that. Keep going though. We can we talk about but, that but next. I say hey. that us. I say let me let me, let me let me let me get shit off. I say this problem is because some of us wasn't really raised correctly by our mothers in the sense of knowing how to love. You feel me? I don't know how okay. to explain it. So like, so like, some, love, so like, so like, I feel like some of us have Just a black certain, women? yeah. So I feel like some of us have a certain resentment towards our mothers in some sort of way, That's which, what which saying. leads, That's what which leads through like a mental. I don't. Well, I, I will. Okay, so it's about it's all about upbringing. When you see in the mic, in the mic. When you see, it's all about upbringing. When you see, like, I'm with my family out there, but mainly from my experience, how my mom and my dad deal with each other. Yeah, I see it, and I'm like, bro, I do not want to deal with that shit. Like. My see, mom is OC as yeah, fuck. I see love how, my mom like with all my heart, but exactly. she's OC as shit. And like the shit she be putting my dad through, I'd be like, bro, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, like, that's sometimes if it talks, hey, like that Kendrick Lamar song, people be people be hating on it. The uh, we cry together. Yeah, but but, but I, the thing I love about that song is that like it perfectly yeah. breaks down like this kind of uh like this problem we have between black men, black women, or just men and women in general. Yeah, but men and women, especially in general. black people, because black people, I'm talking about African Americans, we love to talk shit. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, we talk shit better than it's anybody. Fun. Anybody. It's, it's black fun. Twitter, fun. that's just the nothing but space to just talk shit. Yeah, black and Twitter we are is constantly is a, is getting on each other. That's what I'm saying. Like, when are the blacks going to stick together? Lord, never. The, I, they only stick together when and issues like, arise. And like I said, that that leads back to my point is a lot of the upbringing of. Like black households, and trying I say, to look, and I, and I say like the, oh my fault. Yeah, it's should. like the upbringing of black households. How like we see black men and black women in a interact with each other. How you know some households. I know a lot of black families who are divorced. Like you, when I hear the words of voice, you think of like okay, white people, or just yeah. or just single, or just single, or like sitting down. Now, or mostly you just see single parents in general because like they don't even want to get married because yeah, that's just so, so was, common. You know I mean, it's like you guys have kids just to split up at the end. Whether like, they dad in jail of, or just gone you know, somewhere. Exactly, it's how we see ourselves from our parents. So I believe when you say that we go mix up in a with broken a white household, man, that's yeah. all you know. So when I say when you say the whole we gonna mix whites and then the white and then blacks on just. I, a, I say with the time they say history repeats itself and like stuff gonna repeat. So I believe like nah, they gonna see they got a white mom. They probably gonna want black women more if you ask me. Cause like oh, well, it no. depends on the person though. That too. Uh, I say yeah, it, it goes. Too. It goes. Uh, person. It it is one of the think about it, like in general like that kind of general trend like in general like uh uh, uh daughters marry their fathers. You know that saying? Yeah. So right. They, like, okay. They kind of go out and they search for like. What, what their, their fathers dad. were So yeah. like you, Would you say sons marry their daughters I mean son, oh. <laughs> Sons marry their mothers They mothers Sons, sons marry, marry their mothers mother. God tweet. damn Straight tweet I mean technically uh, uh, yes. yes and no No I'm, I, Yes Because yes no. I'm not putting up With a lot of shit from women Because I see my mom And how she has fucking sense Right mm. But not everybody has that That's the point I'm trying to make That's what I'm saying bro Yeah So that's why I'm, I see what he I, I, I agree see, with him though see, So but if your mama like, If your mama mom, white though yeah. And usually that's what it is Usually yeah. it's the black dude Getting with the white woman And then if you have a son He like mm, I like white girls too And he won't get himself a white girl And plus I How mean, many of these mixed dudes you see and plus, with black women, and, and you know, now, it's, in these suburban areas, think about it, if they're mixed. A lot of times they're in like suburban areas. I've seen quite a few. Well, they'll go with other mixed. I'm talking women, about the fifty percent like, motherfuckers, yeah. right? It's also a yeah. cultural, a cultural thing. You know, yeah, if you raised with a white yeah, mom, they go because like if you live in the suburbs, yeah. black suburban, black suburban, this is, is, is that's the thing. Like, you, we see, shoot, and we all went to the Don't same high school. Too. Most of most most black dudes in our school, they wasn't dating white girls. Most black dudes wasn't dating white girls. Man, what do you think was in the school? We had Ooh. bro, Ooh. White, white people. Were, white, was, white people. Man, white people. Was not, we in the suburbs. What do you think Ooh. was in the school? Bro? Yeah, no. Ooh. He, he, no, but our school. If you know the statistics of our school, come on, come on, out of come our, on, out of our, let finish, let finish, man, let finish. one at a time. You black okay. ass motherfucker, shit. Okay, you're right. Niggas all finish. talk over each other, shit. Your black ass probably got digging their booty and shit. Goddamn ace of spades. No, what was I saying? But no, uh, our high school compared to the other ones in our district was the most diverse. Yeah, because we were like new. we we had the white people were actually a minority as well. They were less than fifty yeah. percent. They are still probably the most abundant group. They're probably still in the forties. But we had shit ton of people. Why I think we all got so many Mexicanos and Arab friends and all these motherfuckers? Because we, uh, on top of the black motherfuckers and Asian friends or whatever. Because shoot, our school was like a melting pot. But guess what? Motherfuckers still flocking to the white women. 
But you guys got. And I don't food. necessarily. He my thing. Hot take. I don't yeah, necessarily blame him. Really Shit, I, 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 I couldn't. Bro, I, even, I can't. Like I said, I'm not covering it, but, but some. Like I said, there I don't is, understand the, flocking. I don't understand. What flocking you mean flocking? To him. Like I said, white women can look good. Oh yeah, I never no, say. No, I know. I, I, like I, I said, never say yeah, no bad yeah. white women. Like I said, we, like I said, black people, black women. If they see me saying they, they might get mad at me, but that's okay. Like I said, listen to what I said before. I'm not covering the white women, man. I, w- I want either a black or a Latina, but you know I prefer the black. You know what I'm saying? But that's 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 the thing. Like they be going against each other and shit. Like yeah. if you, it, it's real toxic. The yeah. black men versus the black women in a lot of ways. Now, now I understand though. Mm. There's other sides to that though. Because at one hand, because it is still a fact though that most black men are marrying black women. That's still a fact. That's still like yeah. that's still is the, the main, case. Okay, but. If you go in that that trend, it's just a lot of back and forth with that, and it's just it can just get ridiculous. And but uh, you you know, in it at the end of the day, it's all person to person. People right. gonna have they, but they some motherfuckers just Uncle Tom's. You know what I'm saying? I get to a that, point. That's with my it. thing. A lot a lot of these guys are kind of Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom. Tom. Yeah, I'm not gonna say straight up Uncle Tom, but they they got some Uncle Tom Bro, tendencies. You know what's crazy? Y'all heard that if, story? If I hear a black, like, every time I hear a black dude say like, "Oh, I don't mess with the black girls," I'm like, "Wow, how do you say that, yeah, nigga? That your weird. mama." That's that's black. Super yeah, that's weird. Your mama is that's black. Weird. So I don't like black girls. I'm like, so you look at your mama like you don't think your mama's a beautiful woman? So my, my mama's different. I'm like, nah, I don't try to do that that's shit. That's different, man. Like, come Cause on. You so don't your, see mama, any... your mama, the one black woman that you, that, that you that's that you think is beautiful. That's ridiculous. You don't see any values. That's almost like saying you don't see any values in your own mother. Because right. take your father for example. Because I'm sure they do, but like this, you gotta say right. that sounds that sounds ridiculous. Yeah, it's, and I, I was a victim of this. Well, as a, but I was really young, like uh-huh. I remember that. Um, I probably like what sixth grade. Uh-huh. I was saying dumb shit like that, like oh, I'm not really into black girls. But then I'm like, bro, I just thought about it. I'm like, bro, that's looking dumb. Like I just haven't met right. a black girl that right. I would like. Exactly. Because his thing. Because I feel like. Because it's always like the, the loudest. Because black people in general, we kind of just loud. Extremely. Compared. I'm not talking about just women, but men too. Like, yeah. extremely. If, if you go to like any sort of like black hangout or yeah. whatever, yeah. screaming, or family, yelling, family we gathering, get we get rowdy. Watch some black people play some cars in this motherfucker. The man, Laughing. like I said, furniture moving in this bitch. If some shit go down, but um, 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 fuck was I saying, nigga? Shit, we pretty loud right now. All black guys. Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> you talking about like uh? I be going on tangents and shit, man. Uh, like uh. Like I was finna say though events. I was finna say Fuck it Say what you gonna say Y'all heard that one story though About that dude I think he was in a sport or something He died His his girlfriend killed him He like stabbed him to death or I something. Yeah I was like just that. reading that I was And it was a, He that. was with a white girl And he was one of them niggas I was all like Man I don't fuck with the black girls Whatever Keep them monkeys away from me uh, from, it's All, fun all that game, shit so that, The get out Crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Crazy. It's yeah. All fun the games On that get out shit And you know, my thing my, my thing with the With the whole Dating the white girl and all that, you know what I'm saying? It, I'm not, I don't got nothing against interracial marriage or nothing like that, but it's just oftentimes it's hard to like bridge that gap for me because I'm black as hell and most of my references and shit is black as hell. Right. A white motherfucker not gonna understand yeah, that the same yeah, yeah. most likely. Because don't. And have it's just not the same, or or you just don't see the world in the same way. Right. Yeah. We're less likely to see it in the same way, which we don't have to. We can still like bridge the gap. Yeah. But it's just it just it doesn't like come as across as it just as natural to me, right? Okay. But I don't speak for everybody. That's fair. But. That's fair. That's really fair. Coming from somebody that has yeah. been in interracial relationships is definitely a gap with like even just regular actions through everyday life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like so. There's some things hardships that you go through they don't they yeah. understand like they have no idea about. Not that they're like. It's not their fault either. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just yeah. Don't no, know. no. Some people it is their fault. Some people they they just, they they can know. I hate yeah. the whole thing. It's like, like people like, oh, you have to live it to know it. No, you don't. You can listen to what these people are saying. But some of these people, they don't give a damn about that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. they claim like they do. They go, they, they go, they post their black squares, but they don't really care about it about that. Like they think they, like they think they do. That's society's fault. Personally, everybody's I, an expert. I, I take fun in them not knowing certain references. It's like, you evil I, bastard. I poke fun at it, man. I can ask my girl right now, what is a Fresh Prince Brandon. of Bel Air? She would look at me dumbfounded. You said what? I can ask her what's the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is right now and she will look at me dumbfounded. She don't know what the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is? I feel like... But she knows who Will Smith is. She doesn't know what the Carlton is. See, that's like the thing thing with me. I feel like 
like That's having a having a different race girlfriend. It like changes the music you gotta play in the whip. That's no, the thing. Not, just, not, no, no, not all the time. Not, not all the time. Really. Not all the time. Really. No, but it's to a certain degree. If I'm playing like Kendrick Lamar, if I'm playing like Black at the Berry, she's not gonna understand that shit at all. No, she's not. True, true that. She's true not. That. She's not going up a screen. She's not going to understand. I'm the biggest hypocrite. Hey, the biggest, to be, to not, be uh, fair though, most people, most people not pl- not bumping Black or the Berry in the whip though. You know what I'm saying? I don't think either them niggas was playing Black or the Berry with they girl. Yeah, nah. But no, but he <laughs> got a good point though. Just, I see what he's saying. But no, nah, but even, even then, I get what like, you say though. I get what you say though. It's, or even like when they listen to like Future and shit. I mean, that's just party music, fun shit to them. But they don't know that's a real side to that. People actually like they. That's a real like struggle. See, they just view that shit as party music. See, that's different. And, and which it is, but I'm saying like there's a whole other side to that. Where does that come from? Right. And in my experience, like my my shorty was listening, she loved Lil Wayne. Like she li- she listens to the bars and she man sometimes she'll play back his punchlines and be like. Man, this shit's hard. Like, you feel I me? Mean? She she's not so uncultured where you can't connect in that way. But like, it's fun teaching to me. Like, it's kind of like I don't know. Yeah, but not everybody here to be no teacher though. That's, true that. That's a thing. Like, true. That's true though. Like, if I say a Kendrick Lamar or shit, even like an old J Cole reference, and you look at me funny, I don't want it to be the one. Well, the reason he said this is because he came from this, and then like they said sound like that, so that's why he said it in this song. Like I ain't really into that. Like you, like I'm one of those guys. Like if you know, you know, and if you don't, I don't really shit. have problems like that. No. I mean, that's, that's you. That's me though. I, I got yeah, I'm saying like I, you a teacher. I mean, you're not a teacher, but like you enjoy teaching hey. about yeah, your craft. Yeah, you I are like, an artist yeah, major, I like, I like so it makes sense that. for that. But I'm not no artist major. I love music, but I mean, I did music in high school, but I'm I'm not trying to teach other people. Like I hate teaching. I think it's insanely dumb. Cause most motherfuckers don't listen. Hey, while we on it though, while we That's on a it crazy though, take. You said teaching is stupid. Cause while we on it though, it's a, it's a waste of time. In most cases. <laughs> hey, while we so, on it though, the reactions yeah. to Kendrick' new shit though, it's been like kind of wild, you know. I yeah. mean, I'm not surprised. Most people either hate it or Bro, love it. That's all I've heard. How, how y'all feel about it? I feel like I think it's so fantastic. This, this is a yeah. hot take for me. I feel like the people who are over here discrediting, saying you know, like this isn't what we want to listen to. Like they want to mention and, and, and as a black. As being a member of the black community, like that shit is so sad. Like y'all, sad. y'all really can't. Cause he's been real shit. Like yeah. y'all are so brainwashed to the point, like y'all don't want to hear anyone Whenever say anything of substance. Yeah. Y'all don't yeah. even know like the whole reason hip hop became big. It was literally to talk about uh, how yeah. our standpoint and politics that's, and everything. That, like, y'all don't understand. That's like, most of things. Like all the music that we talk about, like blues, reggae, and blues, and all that stuff. That comes. Like blues, yeah, what does blues, blues mean? Yeah, You're down and dumps. Come Nigga, like black man, people, rock you know, and roll came from black people. Yeah, man. Well, all this shit did, but they don't want to admit that. Of course not. They only man. give us rap and R and B and shit. Shit, barely That's give us it. rap because everybody trying to integrate. But yeah, <laughs> but all that shit foundation. Yeah, it comes from black people. It's crazy to me, like. And, but you know, with the Kendrick, it is it is sad to me, but I'm not surprised. It's just at yeah. this point, I understand. I can't. I used to get so. I used to get so fed up with it, and don't get it twisted. I still be hearing people. I'm like, y'all some ignorant ass motherfuckers, like. But I used to get so fed up with it. But as I got older, like I realized that man, like when it comes to the everything just in the world in general, but even if you talk specifically about music included, it's just about balance. Like, yeah. just like you have your different styles in music, you have your people that are if are into different things. So, like right. some people aren't. They they simply they just when it comes to music, like we look at it. And we can embrace, everyone here can embrace all different types of music, whether it's some future or some whatever club music or whatever. Okay. But you can also listen to someone like Kendrick Lamar, Andre 3000, right. etc., Joy Badass, whoever it may be that's like these quote unquote conscious rappers that, you know, go real into it. So, yeah, I just realized more and more that's just, it's just about balance. Like some people just literally, they're just not into that. And they, yeah. you can't force them to, to be into that. Do I or think, do I look at them? them? Yeah. Do I look at them and be like, damn, I would hate to. Have your, your music taste because yeah, right. you don't listen to nothing but you know not only do you only listen to one genre rap, but you only listen to one sub genre right, in the goddamn yeah. genre. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like, <laughs> like that's y'all so get sick funny. of that shit. Yeah. And right. they listen to a lot of music. Right. They listen to a lot of music. It's just all like, the same sub genre. But it's in this, it's the same exact shit. Like the same premise. Like, bro, yeah. And I hate how people when they when they base they base like the quality of the music off of one album sales, but two, the ability to play it at any scenario. Like, yeah. oh, let me play it in the whip. Ooh, let me play it at the club. Ooh, let me play it at the party. Not every fucking song, song is meant to do that. Like, yeah. even to talk about we cry together. When it, how it like because we cry together started off at like number I don't know it was like in the top ten and it fell all the way down to like eighty something mm-hmm. second week. But I'm like, and people was like on Twitter is going crazy about it. I'm like, bro, that song is not 
meant to be no song you play yeah. in the radio. You will never hear that song on the radio or in the club or whatever. That song is literally a play. It's a scene. That's why they're literally making a short film. They have a short film. Yeah, yeah I saw. That shit. I saw. Like the whole album, people just it it just blows me. Up. People don't realize is that this whole album is literally a play. Yeah, and it's more to it's more it's, to it's it than just being actually, music. It's more it to is. it than just it, being it music. It's actual uh, art, man. It's like literally art. It's, it's like there's levels like to that shit, man. That's why when he, when he dropped at the same time though, at the same time though, Kendrick does his shit at such a high level. Yes, that you know this comes with it. People that are not gonna understand it. People yes, that, that's true. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because Kendrick said this type of shit, you're not gonna understand it first listen. Like most of his shit, like you're just not. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I, I sure didn't get it first listen. You know what I'm saying? I tried to play it all through I the whip. A lot. I tried to play it through the whip. You know what I'm saying? Just listen to it throughout the day. And I came away. I was like, man, solid. But then I'm listening to these niggas talking about it. And I'm like. Yeah, because we were dissecting. I'm like, yeah, damn. Yeah, that's, that's just my natural yeah. thing. You know what I'm like, saying? But that's just because Lamar. of how I listened to it. I yeah. didn't digest it. You know that's, what I'm saying? That's different. Like, when it, like Kendrick Lamar, when I listen to that, people like him. It's like the music. It's like brain food. It's like an exercise mm -hmm. to your brain trying to figure out what, what he's find. talking about. Right. And I see people on Twitter or whatever is talking about, oh, you're reaching. Oh, you're reaching. That's not what he meant by this. No. Man, no. This stuff that he places, it's not like, it's not a coincidence. Yeah, hell Don't get no. twisted. There's definitely motherfuckers that, that stretch shit. It's kind of funny. But that's, but that's, but that's with anything. But but no, I'm telling you, a lot of, like these things that, these themes or things that he's talking about specifically in his albums, it's not a coincidence. Those are placed purposefully. Right. It, that you can tell because a lot of stuff, times, if you listen to everything that he comes out, he draws back to a lot of things. You can actually, mm -hmm. if you if you just in tune with him as an artist and his albums, like you'll see, like even in this album, things that he's gone through in real life, or things that he's talked about on other albums, etc. And it, yeah, this this is just it's just so real. Like into this album, to me, it's his most relatable. Oh hell yeah. Hell like yeah. Father Time alone is like the most relatable shit I've ever heard in my life. And we talked about this before. You weren't here that day, but just listen to that song, hear him talking about it. About like you no know, the daddy issues and things like that. Cause boys. it's just it's just real. Cause it's just your your relationship with your dad is just it's just something that's it's just different than your mom. Of course. Like if you're blessed to have both of them in your life. Like even my relationship with my dad, I love my dad, everything. I would never I, I'm never going. I'm not. I'm never not going to be grateful for the lesson that he's taught me, whether it's through mistakes or whether it's just through like the just good things. But it it's it's just the nuance behind it. You know, you hear people talking about it's just it's just crazy. You see how people it just flies over their head. Yeah. Like people, I see people talking about oh, the song is about how sometimes you're better off without your father. I'm like, that's some of the dumbest yeah, shit that I've heard in my sense. fucking life. Damn, that, that right there that just tells me stupid. that. Y'all don't know like what the fuck do, are y'all doing? Y'all don't listen for shit. Y'all just don't give a I damn. Like that's just people, subtle even ignorance. in that song, he's talking about how, how his dad's taught him how to how to yeah. how to hustle and get your money, son. You know what I'm saying? It, but also, it's like, it's like, it, like with the good comes the bad. But the lesson that your father would teach you through his mistakes, or also just the lesson that he just straight up teach, like he'll sit down and tell you. I mean, the shit is invaluable. You can't like you can't replace that. Yeah. That's why it's so important. That's why I thought that song was so powerful. But it also talks about shit that's negative things that have happened. And he talks about how like um if he's if he scrapes his knee, he tell he's gonna to get up. Yeah, he's gonna tell him not to be weak. Or he's talking about how his dad, you know, with his mentality, his, he, told, he told him to go get his money, son. Trust nobody, only your mom and them. So then he's talking about how like so when it comes when it comes to, like love, it kind of gets cloudy. So if people kind of show love to him, how it's kind of like he doesn't really. It, it's kind of hard for him to show that back yeah. all the time type shit because he's kind of like more standoffish yeah. like keep to yourself like you know life's a bitch you know you know what I'm saying it, it, so things that he's talking about in that and also talking about how it gave him uh, uh, trust issues and all these other things like Definitely. that it's, it's, it's extremely like it's relatable because my dad's told me things like like this too you know what I'm saying you can't just you can't just trust anybody and some people my mom's probably more accepting of other people or whatever and oh, things yeah, like definitely. that. Um, but they, they, like I said, with your dad is just different. But like I can't like the 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 lesson that your father would teach you. Don't take that shit for granted. And that song, that's what he's talking about. I just love how he talks about you know those personal situations all throughout the album. But Father Time, like to me, is easily it might be like a top five Kendrick song to me. Like just this. First of all, from the, from the instrumental, the hooks. Oh my goodness, Sofa went crazy on that. Yeah. My goodness, Did thing. beautiful. Did this thing, beautiful. I haven't heard the whole album, so I got definitely got to get another listen. Got to, bro. I'm on like what? Listen, fourteen. 
I, I no counting, no counting how many times I'm I listen to that. I'm still finding shit out, like just small shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, but this 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 stuff like that, and him talking about how he grieves different. You can tell it's it's the most personal album. Yeah. That he's had. We never like even with the song Father Time. Before that, if you listen to his albums, we for what do we know about Kendrick's dad? Like from the skits and shit from Mad yeah. City. I was talking about some. I want your body. Yeah, like Look at that big old drunk. fat ass. More of a drunk. Yeah, did someone say Domino's? Yeah, like, that's, what we, know, that's, what, that's what we know party. about him. Yeah. We didn't even know that side of, of, about his dad. Like from that, like that, that shit is just you got really deep just, into his it's personal just, life. It's just dope to me. Yeah. And just the whole album, like with the heart, like the heart part five, the placement of that, and then going into the album, like because me, I have another channel that I'm working on where I'm like dissecting stuff like that. So I actually have like pages written down, kind of like dissecting that. And with the hard part five, what I love about it is that that album, and what I think a lot of people feel like are, are failing to recognize is that that song alone summarizes the whole album, like in terms of its, its its themes. Right. If you listen to that song, what does he say in the beginning of the hard part five? As he gets a little bit older, he recognizes that life is about perspective, and mine may differ from yours. And then he talks about, he goes into about. Places like where he's come from, like coming from Compton, where he's talking about people, you know, they're dying left and right and things like that, the issues of that. And this kind of goes into, he goes into talking about the culture and how a lot of times we try to glorify what goes on in those things. Or we feel such a tie to the to these streets, even though they don't love you back. Because right. what's the saying? You either, at the end of the day, if you if you end that, you either going to end up dead or in jail. Like this shit don't love you, but people feel like they owe something to, to the it. Streets, yeah. But like I said, it's about perspective and kind of just eventually growing out. Like the whole album is literally just about perspective, knowing like people have these different perspectives. That's his perspective, and he also talks from other people's perspective. Humanization. What he talk about on the album constantly throughout the album, he's talk. He's trying to say that um, like that song Crown, for example. Mm -hmm. He's basically trying to like because Kendrick has put himself really in other people as well because of how good his music has been and how almost like prophetic he has been. They put him on this pedestal. And obviously he feels this pressure. I remember back in 2020 with the whole Black Lives Matter shit. Yeah. People when people was getting cage. mad at him, the no name rapper was was getting on him and J. Cole because they didn't want to tweet. Right. Even though they have whole discographies yeah. full, full of it. Of it. Yeah. When other people don't want to talk about it, when it's not trending, who's talking about it? People like him. I people like people devalue like shit like the art within that. But people turn on him and it's trying to show like, hey. Yeah, I took a step back. I chose me in the last album, the last song on the album. He says like, "I choose, I chose me. I'm sorry." Mm -hmm. You know, people like chastising him, people yeah. talking out, talking you know crazy about his name. And like I said, he stepped back. He has like two or two or three kids now. He's focused on his family, and that he had to go work on himself. The whole album he's talking about how he went, how he had to go to, to therapy and things like that. And I, like I said, so humanization because people at this point, and even to myself to a certain extent. Sometimes I'll be studying his lyrics like the goddamn Bible sometimes. Yeah. Because of how crazy it is. I like, you can really apply it to life. Like that, man. And you can better yourself through that. But right. at the same point in time, you have to recognize that he's a human too. He's not perfect. That's why he talks about him cheating on his wife throughout it, throughout the album, and things like that. So, basically, perspective, humanization, and then basically just growth, trying to become a better. better man. Just, yeah. just trying to become better in general. So, I just, I just thought the whole album was just dope from the message. And then that's not even getting into the instrumentation of it. The whole shit was dope. Like the fact that that shit sounds so much like a play. Like the moment I heard the piano, and the piano is almost like its own character right. in the damn album. It sets a stage and stuff like that. For sure. Or like that's not like the features on it. Let's talk about Kodak. Oh my goodness, he was great. Oh, yeah, that so, so I don't want to hear no Kodak. Kodak. I don't want to hear oh, no man. Kodak followers. Nah, yeah, so nah. I don't want. I got. I got. I got to get Kodak. Y'all picking up the shadows. Nah, nah. see, see, see back when, back baby, back when mm. DJ was the only Kodak fan. Stop it, me, me oh, and DJ Bo. Come on, DJ. Man, come everybody was on my ass. Kodak not even like that, bro. I don't know how you listen to this. Yeah, that's why he laughed. That's why he laughed, man. He was the main culprit. He was the main culprit leading the charge. Kodak been like that, man. I've been trying to tell. But people. Nah, you know, like he hasn't gotten way better, it, though. It's funny. This we gonna, nigga. We going to use this, take this to the next album. Another album we should probably talk about then. It was this album. Um, when he did the On the Piano, that was just straight poetry. It was the, Well, yeah. But, oh, yes, bro. That that little interlude he had mm -hmm. on this album. That's what I was getting Great. to. This nigga Kodak Black. No, I see nobody talking about this. This nigga Kodak Black literally hopped on the album. A trap rapper. He's not known as no conscious motherfucker. He hopped on that shit and did a spoken word. 
Yeah. People think it sounds weird. No, it's literally a spoken word. Right. People don't respect that type of shit. Though. They don't, because that, that just tells me that they don't really expect just the art of this shit they just to like the, the full up. extent. They they really don't. It, like, how do you listen to this and you not impress? Because it's what society is ruling now. People like, aren't looking for music like that. People. Yeah, people just don't understand. Like when people think when people, when people do something that separates them from the crowd, or something that's jarring, automatically some people just think it's bad. Yeah, and that kills me. Yeah, it and kills me. Like, if you people gotta to push, you get chastised. We gotta have people that push the envelope. Even like that goes. That's not just people for like Kendrick. That even goes for people like goddamn. I know you don't like them. But that goes even goes for people like Playboy Cardi. Right. Like, say what you want about whole lot of red. I remember when whole lot of red came out because people yeah. think people like they they look at me. They just think all I'm into is conscious rap. Hell no. Nah. Hell no! I listen, to, nigga. I play Yeet. I want to play two songs. Come on, man. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I need my drugs. I need my love. Hey, uh, bitch is yeah, pulling up, up it. Suck a sub. Hey, son. I'm in that talker, baby. Come show me. Come man, on now. Man, but no, nah, but even even when That's it came to even when it came to like a whole lot of rap, people think all I like is conscious rap, which is cap because when whole lot of rap first came out, I remember it came out on Christmas Day. I heard the album. I was like, hmm. This is okay. It's all right. <laughs> but what's everybody else saying? Oh, this shit is ass. It's terrible. I can't believe it. Came three months or so later. Now they're saying it's a classic. And now I'm the hater. Because mm, I'm think, still staying okay. where I say saying it's all right. But one thing I had to give them is that this motherfucker was trying some new shit. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. He was this experimenting. Mother, like that whole grunge shit. You know, where he, was, like, he was trying some new shit on that. Yeah. So I had to give him respect where it's due. Like I'll still bump like Rockstar made and all that stuff. Like that Damn, shit is... Man, that that shit is like the shit is the shit is dope to me. Like, even if I don't necessarily love everything about the album, it's important that we have people that push the envelope. And you never know, over time, shit can grow on you. You may just not be ready for it, but oh, people yeah, just okay. get so much in the moment, yeah, okay. especially with Twitter and how fast everything moves with TikTok and all this other stuff. People are so quick to give their opinions. Everyone is a music guru. Everyone is a sports Everybody guru. Is yeah. Everyone is the goddamn president of the United States. Yeah. LeBron just Everyone said is it. everything, and yeah. they're so quick to talk about this shit, but they can't just sit down. And think they can't sit down and just in their own solitude and come to their own conclusion. They're automatically going to Twitter and, and like their yeah. their, and, their, and their hopping, opinions ain't even hopping real. on to other opinions and yeah. kind of like it's hopping it's on the bandwagon. On we are, we are in a, a very crazy. fast reaction based society, and yeah. it's sad because even like with content that we make uh, on YouTube or whatever it is, and that you know that kind of like you have to kind of try to. It's hard to be a trendsetter nowadays. Yeah. I mean, it's always been, but like now it's harder. More why, than ever to why really do it. Why would you want to be a trendsetter anyway? I don't feel like I want anybody really follow me. Like I, I don't. My know thing is, I just want. Why well, I mean I trendsetter? I mean like you're doing something like new, right? Not, but not, the, not the new that, lasts I don't, I don't so want shortly. People, I don't want people to hop on the bandwagon and start doing what I do, and then you know people will be like, "Oh, I've been doing." But this you know, since like, it's started. hard. Like, like that. but <laughs> even even this, another thing is like if you're not doing the raps that everyone is doing, if you're not wearing the big chains, if you're not right. wearing all this jewelry, if you're not talking about trap, and if you're not talking about fucking girls, if you're not talking about bang bang shoot a nigga, right? What's the, what, like your odds to get mainstream success? Yeah, blown up, right? Are so much lower. Like how many ones was? Yeah. How many mainstream yeah. conscious rappers do we have that talk about real hey, shit like I'm not, that? I'm not gonna lie, that's something that really kind of has been on my mind lately. You know what I'm saying? Like I love, I love the turn up shit. We all, we all love it. We love Future, uh, yes. his last album. That's what I was finna say. Kodak on Future last album. Oh too. yeah, crazy. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Wee. Shit was nice. Shit yes. was nice. But it do sometimes feel like there's a what's the word? An imbalance. Oh, uh, it feels like it feels imbalance. like back in the two thousands and the nineties there was yes. a balance. I know, you know, and I feel like I I know why there's such a and people don't know his, like music history when it comes to hip hop at all. Mm -mm. Like you can add, you can ask some of these kids who Andre two thousands. I guarantee you, Ooh, like only seventy five. All they know is hey y'all. Hey, exactly. like, no and listen. they don't even know the real meaning behind that song. People that don't have never listened to even you in know, the Big Boy and him. Oh yeah, you ask what Big Boy is, they're not gonna know who that is exactly. People or they'll give you B.O.I. You know I mean? People don't know. Y'all know it's B.O.I. It's just crazy. <laughs> like, like, and like, us being, we all Gen Z and shit, and I don't ever want to see like I'm above anyone because I'm not, but like I look around and it's like, damn, y'all don't care about the past. Y'all are so just living in the now. Mm -hmm. Like so much tunnel vision, like everything in the history behind or shit that our mothers, fathers, grand, grandmothers, grandfathers have you done just doesn't even matter. It doesn't even like, they don't even think about shit like that. And it's just like, I, I hear people like, how they talk, people are age a lot of times. Obviously, it's not everybody. Yeah, I'm just like, damn, like y'all don't even fucking think about nothing important, right? At all, 
But that's because they don't have to. And their perspective most of the time. is so shallow. And they, have, they look around. Most of most of the people our age aren't thinking about it like that. They aren't thinking about much at all. I mean, what's the world showing them? It's that's another fact. Right they're there. surviving. But at the same point in time, it goes hand in hand because the industry is going to provide what people are consuming. Consumerism, right? That's all it's about, bro. If they're consuming all of that and that's all they want to listen to, that's all Fuck they want to put we'll out. Give it to them, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's a it business. Goes hand in hand. It's, it's a like, business. It's, yeah, it's the big corporations' problem, yeah. and it's also our problem too. Like that's we as consumers guess, are like consuming female female bullshit. MCs. Yeah, we talk about bullshit. male MCs. How hard it is for a male MC that's not talking about bang bang shooting nigga to blow up or shit. Talk Fuck about somebody a, girl, a woman, a woman that isn't talking about shaking her ass or finessing niggas. Come on, bro. D- mm-hmm. How many rappers are there that have mainstream success? Wait, mainstream success? No. no. How many mainstream yeah. rappers no. to this day, on this day? No. How many mainstream rappers that are female are ta- are conscious that can talk about shit like that? Like, I don't think of literally two. zero. Yeah. No, yeah. but they're not I mainstream. Can't, mainstream. mainstream I can't heroes. You got people like Rhapsody. You got people like No Name. Mm, yeah. You got people like Little Sims and people like that. Yeah. But they not mainstream. That's They've been right. on mainstream albums. Right. But them themselves, they ain't got no platinum records for real. They ain't got no. They come on, come on, man. Yeah. People it's just don't in the sacks. People don't care. It's what they push into the forefront of hip hop right now. It's like, Sad. and I, I guess I guess it's it's the money maker. But if they want to look at it in long term for the hit, like to keep on the the legacy of hip hop, it'd be better for them to show a little bit of what what was in the past. You feel me? Well, J Cole tried that. He tried to stab at that a little bit. He told. I remember when he had the song versus um LePont. Yeah. Are oh, you talking about 19 uh, He yeah. says he says the 1985. Two, yeah, he said he told Lil Pump like, "Okay, the white people see you turning up and all that shit, but like I don't give a damn about you." After eventually that shit will die off. Mm-hmm. Which is true, but it's going to be a while, I feel. I feel like it'll be a long time before that shit dies off. I mean, we talking about Lil Pump specifically. I mean, I'm sure yeah, he's still getting yeah, the money behind, like the, but he's ain't nobody buying that music no more. I'm talking about the genre in general. The turn up, let's yeah. go crazy. Like, I mean, it's always going to be a space for it. Right, but I feel like right so now we it's, love, it's we insanely popular. Yeah, but even, insanely back, insanely even, back, even back then, though, like, right, yeah. the turn up music, like 50 it. Cent and all that stuff, like uh, 21 Questions or In The Club, like that was turn, that was their version of that. I f- yeah, but I feel like even in those songs, there was some consciousness to it. Yeah, because twenty one questions. He talking yeah, about man, love, he being in love. Talking, he, That's not conscious. So. Love song isn't a conscious song. No, 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 no. I think it's a little bit rapper. That is, that is conscious. No, rap is I ain't saying like, conscious. I'm not saying overall it's a conscious man. record, but no, I'm saying like I ain't saying you don't have no conscious records. I ain't saying you don't have no records. You can say it's conscious. I'm saying twenty one questions. I don't know if I say it. I think it is mainly. I want to say it's a conscious record overall, but I'm saying that because. Right now, you got these same songs in the same kind of vibe. Rappers, but I'm just saying the nigga saying is, conscious. "Oh, I'm fucking this bitch and I'm getting so high. I'm fucking this bitch and I'm getting so high." Like, but Twenty One was actually talking about like being in love with somebody, staying down with that girl. Would you gonna fucking love me if I'm bitch? You gonna stay down with me if I'm down bad? All that kind of stuff. Like test test the loyalty. Mm-hmm. I think that's con- I, that's conscious to me. Like yeah, I said, it's conscious, conscious aspects too. But I wouldn't say overall it's a conscious. That's conscious to me because that's. I mean, I, I, I see what you mean. I, I mean, I'm not going to argue. That's testing some real shit because especially at that time. Yeah, it's different. I'm going to jail all thing, the time. People, people, because because music is just such like a crazy melt. There's like more artists out there just making music or hit records, even if they're like one and done or yeah. whatever than ever. Like especially with TikTok and now TikTok, there's like a pros and cons to it. I love the fact that it gives people that actually have talent. A chance to be seen, more of a chance to be seen yeah. than ever. But then at the same point in time, like you see how people, there's a lot of artists right now that are struggling with putting out the music that they want to because the label wants them to put out music that would go crazy on TikTok. TikTok yeah, and that shit is right. sad. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, it leads to the fastest blow up. That's yeah. why they tell them that. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't tell them to him if it didn't work. But, but it don't always work. Blow blowing up ain't always no, the way. You, you know, you feel me? Yeah, I, I, I agree. I don't. I wouldn't even. I don't. I feel like the whole blow up. Like you see how these people end up in the end. Like they come up blowing up shots on social media. And like people like Lil Pump. He blew up off what Instagram, SoundCloud, and stuff like that. And like look at him now. Like he's not even making music. Like with this man's looking weird on social media. And like look, Smoke what, perp. He's performing like three people. <laughs> it's tragic. He was out here. He was, he was up in uh in Joliet just a little bit ago. Smoke Pert, where like the Forge or some shit. Right. You know what that means. All right, now now since we're on the topic of hip hop, this is gonna lead to my question. How do you guys feel about the Jack Harlow intrusion? What you mean? Intrusion? Why you call it intrusion? Because that's how it's being seen, as in like 
Intrusion, intrusion right. in what way? Jack Harlow kind of he's a white guy into the the black culture. Like people are kind of like, uh, I, 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 I think like, that's stupid. He's not like, the first person I, to do I, it. I think Jack so Harlow. I don't think that's cool. intrusion. But I feel, and I say intrusion for the fact you like because you didn't know kinda, like. Like I don't know, the media is kind of trying to force him. Not media trying to force him. It's like nah, everyone's saying, trying though. to force him in the light of he's part of the black community now. Like part of the black know. community. I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't. Maybe I'm missing that because I don't be seeing you that. Don't, you don't see on social media how these people like. Yeah, a lot of a lot of these, people in the black community accept them. Like I mean, it's different between accepting like and Snoop, like you know, like and Snoop and you know Drewski, all these kind of guys. They literally integrate him into like this shit. I have no problem with that. I mean. People it's feel collective. People I mean, feel as though artists, he's, he's kind of people are like pushing his his, his a, a vulture or something like that. Yeah, like people are trying to put him onto uh, like is he a vulture or something. I, don't I, don't think, I think he, I think he respects the shit. So. I, I, I give him some. I give him a lot of respect considering he's a white and white rappers and he are came not up, making. And he didn't just come up overnight, bro. That man was doing open mics and shit. Going to club yeah. like like a damn comedian. You know, comedians going to do open yeah. mic. He was going up like on some shit like that, doing People this like local shit. Intruding now. And you, but, can see, okay, you, you so can see you can go see like his old school shit. Like that motherfucker was a nerd back in the day. You can go look at his fucking music videos. He was man was like I saw him like he was like in middle school or high school. Right. Man looked like a motherfucker off of Stranger Things. Yeah, he definitely looked like, <laughs> like one of those. We like one of them kids, bro. So it, it was, but if we gonna say this about Jack Harlow, why wasn't this brought up for Lil Dicky? I thought Lil Dicky was cold. Now, Lil Dicky, I, Lil Dicky I, more of a comedy I, rapper though. Yes. Like Lil Dicky, you can't and, say yeah, but I thought, his name Lil Dicky. You know what I'm saying? This like, nigga said, but like, this nigga said Lil Dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, his flow, bro. That nigga could flow, bro. No, 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 he, he, he can rap. Yeah, yeah, he community can rap. Could, but like, I was expecting expect you to say like Eminem or some shit like that. No. Too though, the, or shit, Yellow Wolf. I don't listen to Yellow Wolf. So see, I, listen, I listen to Yellow see, Wolf. See, you're a saying bit. Yellow Wolf and like who else you say Yellow Wolf and uh Dicky? Lil Dicky, those aren't those weren't really rappers that were. Seen by the black community as okay, I see what you're saying. So, M- they, this is saying. Eminem was seen by the black community. You feel me? He came up kind of like with you know, fit with, with Fit D, Dre and Eminem all them. Was a, Eminem so that. Eminem is a legend, like, they that's know 100%. That. 100%. Like, some of your rappers, like, even our favorite rapper, like, if you don't know, like, I don't know how, how if I know me and DJ agree on this, I don't know if everyone else agrees on it, but like, I view Kendrick Lamar as the greatest rapper of all time, but 100%. he has a lot of influence from Eminem. He says it in his songs, yeah. 100%. They have yeah. songs together. Right, you feel me? Absolutely. So I, I don't know. I feel like I purpose, it, I mean, people need to. But with Jack Harlow, I mean. people being <laughs> uh, black, people being us, and like we now have homage to the hip hop. We believe like they can't come and integrate into. Nah, us but and, see, look, but that's all, that's what we just talked about, though. Society as a quick reaction. Oh shit! White dude, black music, nah, can't work. Take a little Nas X. You don't think white people was pissed that he was doing to do country music? Uh, I mean, they're trying to say yeah, that it wasn't no, country they music. Kicked it, they kicked his yeah, song off their radio station. They're trying to say that, it wasn't. To was say so that it wasn't country music. They kicked it off their radio station, man. That's Which was I'm like saying. a blend of a few genres. It wasn't just country. It was like country, hip hop, pop. Right. I agree. No, I agree. I, like all through. I, I still believe to this day that man hasn't made a bad song. I don't know about I, all that. I, I, no, wait, wait, no, what no, do you no, say? No, you no, say no, he no. hasn't made a bad no, song. No, 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 I, I agree. I agree. No, if you listen to his projects, I mean, he got yeah. a lot. Of, he got he got a lot of songs that if they played. I would be cool. Now I don't agree a hundred percent on the image he's shining onto the youth right now. I mean, I, as my personal opinion, because it, I don't know, man. This is like but, a lot of crazy. Okay, but who's to say that's not um, a marketing ploy? It definitely is. You want to get you want to get your name out there? has a song called Industry Baby. But do y'all Literally. do y'all think he was always gay? Probably. Um, you know what? They say he's not even gay. I don't think he's I have I don't think he's gay. Actually I don't gay. Know. I don't I, I don't think, really care. It's I think just, this whole thing off, is a gig, is bro. I think this whole thing is a gig. Here's my thing though. Who gives a damn if you likes boys or not? Thank you. That too, because they did it. You know they My did thing, it. Like, uh, makes such a big deal. Too. They well, did it to Frank Ocean. Now that, I ain't gonna cap though. Some of the music videos, like I said, I, I didn't have to watch them. I the didn't have to watch the them. But the um, the Montero music video where he was like, like giving the devil a lap dance. I just thought was that was crazy. too much. And it wasn't just because it was gay. It was because like, what's up with like all these damn mainstream artists like and they them going through that damn Satanic, satanic phase. Yeah. Like why why so many artists always gotta do that I, shit? I, think it's a I just think it's un it's y'all, unnecessary. Y'all ain't ready to hear I my mind. Mind. Say, Illuminati confirmed. Not even, man. I feel like man, I have a whole theory, man. Theory go ahead and go ahead and let them hear it. Man. I feel like 
Y'all, I don't know. I'm like, getting caught by the internet. Anything, getting caught by the FBI. We, we are so, yo, bro. We are ass. so used to demonizing everything. Everything that's not Christian, we demonizing. Right. Man, a, a, a bear that gives out gifts to everybody can be loving by everybody, but if Christians say, that nigga there is a demon. True. That mug's a demon and I think everybody. That was, and I think that's part of what 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 Lil Nas was talking about in that music video too though, because I heard some of his commentary on it saying like, because a lot of people say like he's oh he's gay or whatever he's doing too much and like they was kind of I think putting them on like like you said demonization. I think part of the point was like demonization. I think part of the point of it was like like he was trying to say like okay since I'm gay and shit and y'all saying I'm going to exactly hell. that's what I'm yeah and it was meant to kind of be like. A, a taunt, slap in the face, yeah. a taunt to him. I exactly, that. but I still think it's it, it's unnecessary. But a lot of artists are doing like the satanic thing. It's just weird because like, like I said, he's not, yeah, he's not it's the also first just, one it's also just, shit, just an, it's an aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, it's Cardi. It's a popular aesthetic. Travis Scott, Cardi, Uzi. You know what I'm saying? Travis it's, Scott. When's when's Travis been on that satanic shit? Man, I think what? in the beginning he I was. Know, Travis, say, yeah, look, look, yeah. Or shit, even in his his, his his album's called Dy- Dystopia, ain't it? Man, stop I don't know it's not it's not satanic, but you get what I'm saying. It's kind of hell. Dystopia stop even means to be God. it means like yeah. utopia means you know oh, utopia true. means right. It means like a yes. a future where it's, it's it super like great. It's dystopia is the opposite. It's a future where it's it's shitty. It's terrible. Well, how is that? No order. No, but I'm saying like kind of like that chaotic energy, that chaotic demonic type of energy. There's a difference between that. And just being like, goddamn, giving the devil a lap dance. What type of crazy ass shit is that? I mean, and I don't yeah, want to yeah, be like that. Yeah. I don't want to be weak minded. I don't even think the devil's I, and I there are levels crazy. to it. But I mean, I mean South I just, Park and South Park he is. Yeah, yeah. That, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I, I, him and Saddam Hussein. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's shit. True. Like, I, like I said, so, I think it's all a marketing. Saddam Hussein, a homosexual. I think the Why demon shit part, is a marketing ploy. Or like, I don't watch South Park, man. Shit, look at it like this. I mean. He I mean, did the shit with Nike, some... made the shoes had quote unquote blood in them. Motherfuckers sold but out. Wasn't with Nike though. Yeah, <laughs> it, it don't matter. It sold out in a matter of seconds. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying like, yeah, Nike actually suited his ass. Yeah, but shit, you don't think that blew his name up for like a week and a half? I mean, yeah, that's Lil Nas's thing. It's the, a marketing the, boy. But his thing is, I think Lil Nas is like he's talented enough to not have to rely on that crazy ass shit. Hey, y'all think that nigga really got a song with Youngboy? I think he trolls. Uh, I think I think Lil Nas is is, is Lil Nas, like if, if if Young Boy is anything like his homie Boozy, badass, I'd fucking highly doubt that shit. Do you know they do, they got rid of this man's Instagram because yeah. he was talking so crazy? Bro. No, but I ain't gonna cap. No, some of that Ooh, stuff was Boosie? unnecessary though. Boozy funny, but some of that stuff is unnecessary. Boozy be saying some ridiculous. Did you it don't be necessary. It really do not be, be unnecessary. unnecessary as, do you hear about what he said about the, the, the shooter, bro? What do you say? I got it. Got. Oh, it it got deleted. What do you say? He called this man. He's, the man's dead already. He said you were a f word, and we know what the what, I'm yeah. not gonna say it, but you know what f word he was yep. gonna use. Yep. We're not talking about uh, the one that's uh, also used for sexual relations. No, right. But, to my bundle of sticks. Yeah. Okay, man. but uh, oh, man. here come this nigga. I'm not defending him. Don't but, make me have to edit shit unnecessarily, man. Shit, please don't say no crazy ass. Shit. I'm not, but I'm saying like. <laughs> Why are we making it seem okay? I guess he has a platform, but I guess I feel like I've there's people out in the world that said way worse, way worse. So nigga, yes, but it's so it's, why is it such a big deal that he got banned? What you when mean? other people don't get banned? Is look at the world who, who, right who now. Get that, that's a crazy who, 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 just throwing who, around. Y'all, you have to you'd have to try to bring it up against bring something shit up that I guess I didn't see. But who else was just hopping on IG live, just saying all this random shit about gay people? This just currently, current okay, day. Okay, okay. Who that's, even got the butt? The so guts? I don't, here's my thing. I don't got. A, I personally don't have a problem with Boozy. Boozy I think balls. Boozy is hilarious. I do Boozy too. has balls. And he got some balls, but he also I don't know. Man. So I'm missing also context. Wasn't, also, wasn't the smartest so, idea if he wanted to stay on social so media. So you said that he was talking about gay people, man, in the live. His feelings towards the LGD. BTQ R I don't know There's a lot of <laughs> Okay so that's the context I'm missing You guys just said what? That he called The shooter A pile of sticks Yeah That's um, not That, 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 that was just And he was going okay, crazy On Lil Nas Lil Nas too He was I don't I don't okay, want I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to misquote him But he was Like I remember Because I saw the clip I'm not going to misquote him Yes 
Yeah, I know. I didn't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to misquote him, but he was saying like crazy okay. shit like that. Outlandish. Okay. That's what I'm missing. And Y'all like, didn't say bro, none of that. I just thought he just called no. the shooter a pile of sticks. And I'm like, bro, people say that kind of stuff all the time. I don't even know what that situation was. I don't even know about that situation. Because <laughs> like, Loki, Boosie got a funny for that. I ain't gonna Boosie laugh. crazy man. It's because <laughs> I, I guess what? I guess if you how look was at that, pictures, how is that what came to your body to call? If you look at pictures of the shooter, I guess he kind of looks like he might be a little feminine. Or like well, shooter of where? Of who? Where? The, the, the Texas shooter. The, the recent. Oh, the Texas. recent one. Yeah. Oh, you said, you said some more shit recently? I haven't heard about Boozy in a minute. Boozy, Boozy, I, don't, I don't really Boozy be too has been Boozy. on a roll of saying some. Like, what he saying it on now? You don't got no Instagram. Twitter? Oh, yeah, yeah, man. You don't be reading Boozy Twitter, man. No, nah. well, all, all his tweets he has to delete later because you know his publicists probably be on him about right, it. Right? Yeah, we need to take that down, bro. Like, <laughs> like man, this man has bro. said some crazy stuff about the the gay community, man. It, it, it's sad, but at the same time, it's like who who it, somebody's gonna say it. Like, I guess I I'm not saying everything he says is incorrect, but I'm saying some of that shit it really just is unnecessary. Very I can unnecessary. see that. I can see. It's that. just like, bro, it just ain't even. Affecting you for, and I think sometimes people is kind of dragging like the whole emasculation thing, and that's coming from me. And I'm the same motherfucker that's like, I'm a, I'm extremely against black men wearing dresses in movies and shit. Right. At this point, I just yeah. think it's ridiculous. But it's even like with Boosie, at that point, if, like, even like with Boosie though, like even with him, like it's just, it's come on, man, you don't need you just shut, shut the hell up, bro. right? Like mind your business a little bit, like just just kind of mind. That shit yours. don't even concern you. Know what I'm you. Like, like, so, like, like when he be speaking on Dwayne Wade and his yes, daughter and, and, and all and that. This is such a terrible yeah, example man. for everywhere. It'd be like, 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 bro, you gotta mind yours a little bit. Like it ain't it ain't your business. Like you you are real. forcing your opinion out a little too much. Like you can't you can't be yeah. saying some of but the stuff. Shit, he's like probably like just that. trying to like serve I said, as an entertainer. But then I'm not trying to cancel the motherfucker. Keep his name up. You can't cancel Boosie. Boosie nah. gonna hey, well it's thing canceling it, canceling in general. Boosie just gonna say something else outrageous. Exactly. Just canceling in general ain't really like. Canceling, you know, no, like, unless you got enough to lock the motherfucker cancel, up. Yeah. You even R. Kelly, if R. Kelly wasn't media, locked up, if R. Kelly, hold on, if R. Kelly wasn't locked up, that motherfucker would still be balling in this bitch. Because yeah, guess what? Still. Motherfucker still bumping the music. Oh yeah, still nigga, still I'm still bumping, bumping the music. Right, the nigga, day. you still, but everyone's still bumping that shit. Why? Yeah. You can separate the art from the person. Yes, I'll be damned if I'm not bumping Contagious. I'm trying to get my dad on that with Kanye. My dad was like, I'm not listening to Kanye. My dad, <laughs> Kanye, <laughs> Kanye was one of my dad's favorite artists until he said that shit about slaves. And Is I'm like, a dad, was a choice? yeah, I'm like, dad, separate the fucking like, like Brandon says, separate the music from the person. But do you think he was wrong though? What Kanye said. I know what he, he's saying. Kanye we, is a smart dude. He's just very bad at articulating it. Yes, like he's very blunt. Yes, yeah, very. Like, like, Kanye is not the best. He get way too consistent, consistent public speaker. No, I can see. But he's saying we can, we, like, we can listen to it and we can see that, like, okay, we know what he means. But other people, they just want. I mean, yeah, they shoot the it, motherfucker down because he yeah, just don't yeah. like him. And it's easy to. But do. I know what he meant because to a certain extent, like, we're not gonna sit here and act like institutionalization ain't a real thing. Hundred percent, it's a real thing to this day. Hey, for well, things that are little, for yeah. for things that are little, like we go back to slavery or even just sit like saying the n word, like. That's institutionalized mindset. Cause right. technically, shouldn't nobody say the N word. Hundred percent. But we say, I say, nigga, shit. I don't all know. Time. I couldn't tell you. if I had a dollar. How many, how times, how many I said times, that times I said it every day? This I'm gonna be honest, bro. But had yeah, it's a real thing, I not though. Been around black people, you feel me? We have never heard the word. I probably wouldn't be saying, nigga. I bro, like, like, yeah, it's, you it's, it's means a whole different vision. thing. Cause it's like, cause, be cause a lot of them, sla- them slaves back then, like, yeah, they, you learned in school. Nigga, you. Cause you saying black people taught you, but like, we learned it in school. Nigga, Did we not? Or through the songs. History. That too. It's everywhere. Yeah, the N word is everywhere. Learn. Yeah, and that's why everyone want to say it. That's why N word is so know. weird. That's why I, I try to. To be honest, I don't remember learning what the N word was. I just always remember knowing the N word. I don't remember ever I learning it. I, I knew what it was already. They didn't say it in classes for y'all. I feel like I, I, I probably heard it at home or something. I ain't gonna lie. Was. Like I've been, I can been saying niggas since a nigga can remember you. Right. It's like it's like I don't even remember learning the word. Like it's just my parents the word. I just kind of not that I've heard them, but like. I wouldn't doubt if they did. I don't know, man. Nigga is just the weirdest word ever created. That's my <laughs> feeling on it. Because the bound, the lines are like they're so thin, thin they're so vague, and everyone sees it in a different way. Like some people is like, can't nobody say the n word but black people. Other people are like, oh, Mexicans like our cousins, they can say it. Yeah. Or like, oh, yeah. that's my white homie. Everybody got or, the oh own. yeah, he's white, but he's my homie, so he get the yeah, pass. Yeah, everybody got their own little. Like, I have my own thing on it. Other people have their own things on I, it too. I, I feel that. I feel that. It's like. I feel we, that. we have we have like and we're so weird. It's like, bro, 
it, it, I, one thing I hate the most about the N word is that people try to say, oh, we took the power out of it. And now it's a term of endearment. First of all, if we didn't care about the power, if, if, if we took the power out of it, we wouldn't care who the fuck said it. Right. Uh, and yeah. term of endearment is fucking re- yeah, stupid. It's the most asinine stupid. shit I've heard in my fucking life. I don't shit. care how you use a nigga. What do you say? Oh, that's my nigga, whatever. That word still, like, it, it means what it means, motherfucker. Yeah. Like, that's the only word that we try to turn it and be like, make it like a, a term of endearment in the way that it is. That's deep. And that's like deep. I said, we all use it, but like, come on, bro. Like I said, if we if we if we took the power out of it, then we wouldn't give a damn. Who then we wouldn't care who said. The word, yeah. the word is say black it. people though. But you like, can't say it. Sticks and stones. The, you know, like the hard er, shit. like the the root of it is nigger was literally yeah. uh, the tri- our tribe was like a big tribe. Okay, I don't know nothing about that shit. Yeah, you gotta read up on you your. You talking about? You talking about that Kendrick song? He said N E G U S. We said real niggas so like it means like African king or some yeah, shit yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. But I don't think that I don't know if that's where it's the, either way. They do either way that go with the ER and all that stuff. That's nothing I want to talk about. The goddamn discrepancy, more ass not shit. Oh, if you say it with the A, it's fine, but the ER is different. This shit means the same, same damn same thing. thing. It one was just it being lazy. It means the same thing. I, I, <laughs> understand, I understand what they mean. I, I understand what they mean because like tone is a thing. Like nigger. Oh, uh, I mean, I have to, oh, shit. I'm gonna have to fucking be shit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but the ER, it just got like a certain, it got a different little tang oh, yeah, flavor 100%. to it. I understand that, but this, we, we can't just, from an objective point of view, we're not going to sit here and act like this just makes a different, different, word. different thing. It's yeah. the same fucking shit. I go ask my grandparents, anything like that, they're going to tell you that that shit means the exact same fucking thing. You don't think that slave masters down south with their country ass weren't saying nigga? Mm-hmm. Calling these there's nigga in a derogative way? It, it's just slang. Nigga is a slang wor- version of nigger. If you think it about is. it, it's just white slang. People, white, yeah. Country ass white folks are saying nigga too. Right. <laughs> it's just slang. Dance, bro. nigga, dance. Right, exactly. Like, it's. In, uh, how right. do we. Ah, shit, bro. Like, how the hell do we literally separate the words and then give them different connotations? I mean, like, you know. Like, what just, happened uh, for that to happen? White people uh, did that, bro. I guess just black people just started white saying nigga more. White people did that. Yeah. No, white people did that, bro. Why is that? The, the, nothing becomes cool until black people do it. <laughs> I'm gonna repeat Especially the United States Nothing mm. becomes cool Until black people do You mm. don't think It took one nigga To run off with the word nigga For white people to be like Oh hey, they're saying They're all saying all that no, stuff, So that's yeah, their that, word that goes, that goes way back Like I said man You feel me Some of these people They like they, they, I know they hate it When it says But it's a fact You can try to deny All you want But you just, you just being in denial All of our art forms And shit like that That we that we consume Or most of them Stands from, us. Stands from goddamn black people yes. All the music That we listen to Comes yes. from goddamn black people yes. How many times We gotta say this shit Even back then Like it's crazy Like even back like During times like Menstruacy You know what that is So basically like you, Menstruacy is like Blackface and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. All times, like in those clubs or whatever back in the day, like during segregation stuff like that. During like they have the jazz and all that stuff, yeah. which obviously comes from black, black people. Yeah, it's right. a black band. They wouldn't let black people go up and perform because like, it was whites only, yeah. unless black a black person himself Had painted more black on his face. No, oh shit, the black person in blackface and he goes up and he's tap dancing and doing all this shit and portraying himself as a fool. That's the only way those black people back then could go and even get. Get a name in their genre that they created. That's why I make it so bittersweet sometimes looking at even some of like the old, old, old legends. You ever like looked into like like the the Sammy Davis Juniors, the Mr. Yeah, Bojangles, Jangles, yeah. them tap dancing ass niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they have a whole instrument, like the bone the bones, like that was like created for ministry to just make black people look stupid. Like Damn. it's like it's like all this it it's, 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 it's just, it's just, it's shit is crazy. Very and, fucked up. It's hey, done wait. in and it's done in, in in all art forms because they do it in movies too. That's why I get back to the, getting back to the goddamn dress shit. Yeah. That's why I'm I'm really against that shit. Like I'm not gonna cap like as a kid when I saw Big Mama's house. Like I thought the this shit one, was funny. Bro. But if I watch Big that Mama. now, I'm probably not gonna think it's in funny. In my to be opinion, honest with you. it was funny. Yeah, but it was always weird. Like because I seen I seen a couple movies. I seen multiple movies where guys are dressing up as females, females. and it's starting to get weird after a while. Like. After yeah, maybe the third Medea movie, okay, it's funny, but why does this man keep yeah, putting Tyler on Perry this dress? Got made a career. And, and yeah, it's like it's twenty twenty two. The thing is, I hate still about it making because because like what, what's going mm-hmm. on with that? Like it's just annoying because because then we get to the whole thing. It's like because black people, I feel like just throughout history, and this is commonly said. Some people may have not heard it, but if you haven't, I don't know how. I just feel like constantly because black people in general, we've whatever a stereotype or whatever have been viewed as being like 
the most masculine. Like when it comes to this shit, like you, and it, people talk about toxic masculinity, but even just throughout our history, like you can see that they tried to make us the way that they tried to integrate us was to make us seem less masculine or just yeah. less of who we are. Whether it's right. putting us in a dress and it puts or them on a pedestal, feminine or whatever, like it makes them look more masculine. Like yeah, bro. I mean, and it's just annoying. It's just annoying. It's common though. I mean, shit. Annoying. You got Young Thug for a fucking long time. Dude was. Wearing dresses. That was just his ass being strange. Though. Yeah, but like, no. I'm sure the media enjoyed that. You don't think his label sent him a couple of, you know, I don't art know, or a couple of fashion guys? I ain't I'm just heard not a crazy, that I'm just yet. Not a crazy I ain't conspiracy. Heard that. It's logical. He said, said, he said so. the label sent him the dress. I'm going to say it's illogical, but it's just like, it's hard to prove that. Like, how do we even. Like, I mean, you know, I ain't don't have saying it's correct, but it would make a lot so of sense. So, it comes like conspiracy look, look theories. The trend, I'm very skeptical. Uh, look at like, the trend. Everyone in YSL has put on some crazy fits. I, I feel everyone like. Everyone in YSL has put on some You could crazy say that, that's just a. That's just that's a. They MO. Yeah, that's a aesthetic. That's how they. That's how they like to rock. They just okay, like to color their hair Cardi. and. His, look at him now. <laughs> you funny as hell when you hold that. He was not like that before. He was not zesty like that before. Come on, zesty. Yeah. Lord. Lord, come on, that boy was Lord. not like that. You know, it's rock star shit these days. You know, rock stars all a little zesty. You know, now when it com- when it comes zesty. for a stand, like, this is what I'm saying. When yeah. it comes to artists like some people, just like that's just they. I want to say Tyler. Hmm. Now, not everyone knew he was gay, but if you listen to some of his bars, he would joke around. Yeah, hundred percent. To the point where that's a lot of rappers when, though. Yeah, but, but Tyler find some Tyler not, yeah, but Tyler not crazy with it. Like I know he painted his nails, but he's not crazy say, with it. Like. No, Cardi he thugs. should be like, like on the crib and print panties, uh-huh. Prince panties, and yeah, Prince pant. Come on, I know, yeah, he definitely did. Some, but I'm not gay. I just want to boogie to some Marvin. Like this man was already saying some crazy stuff mm-hmm. and like absurd stuff. Like we kind of knew but didn't know. But my thing is for that is like you can go to any artist. Like there's a lot of gay lyrics from Biggie. <laughs> no, okay, those motherfuckers back then, like Biggie. Eminem That's and Dr. Different. Dre, I don't fucking ridiculous. Like, I, like I they go overboard. Nigga, bro. Like Alice about some show. You know that one song, motherfucker. No. Dr. Dre and Eminem had a song together. I remember one, 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 one fucking ad lib that Dr. Dre had. He just said, "Suck it, Marshall." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? Oh, it was that that, that dirty conscience song. <laughs> Whatever the fuck it was. No, I don't remember what song. That conscience. No, I don't know what song was. I don't know that motherfucker. Yeah, suck it, Marshall. You can look. You can look up all the all the fruity lyrics they had back then. They talk about us being fruity. Now, but back then, no, like, bro, yeah, like they, they would say me. some but extremely like. like is, when I tell you, like shooting in the water, gay shit, like they were shooting in the water, like <laughs> bend me over, like get in my butt cheeks, like, <laughs> say, like it was ridiculous, bro. I, Cause I seen it on YouTube, like they're like most sus lyrics from. <laughs> yeah, baby, you heard what he said? <laughs> like that shit is insane, bro. She said somebody you so fly might just suck on your daddy dick, like, like bro, bro, like what? That. And like I ain't got nothing against that. Like that's what, it, like you know, you do what you do. You still a rap legend, but like, why do they make it seem as if nowadays everybody's just so like, oh, so cool with being fruity and all? Like, nah, bro, like. <laughs> That kind of stuff and going back for especially Eminem. Like, there's a lot of Eminem a has lot of verses from Eminem yeah, doing that bro, such. Bro. Man, Eminem used to say some like scoop your eyeballs out and, and, and man, like, like he used to say some crazy, yeah, know, some crazy, crazy stuff, like, bro. Early Eminem, man. See, you, these kids don't even know about that. These kids nah, not gonna yo, know about early Eminem. Well, they they not gonna know about that. Man. These chicks don't even I know. Think the might, name I think, of my I think they might because people try to, you know, people be they be trying to like dig shit up. Yeah, bring the yeah. shit back. I mean, maybe, but I mean, people gotta understand. Like, I don't know. People go back like that whole thing when they try to go back and chastise people or make them or demonize them for shit I they said in the past. I, I I'm like them, art, all art, fact, literally yeah. all all. Whether it's comedy you or music or whatever, it's just it's just a reflection of the time that yeah. there was it was in. Like, I, actually comedy. I actually miss Black Eyed Peas. They were good. I actually no, right. like well, hear me they out. They were though. good. Hear right. me out though. I miss. You're tweaking. They were good. I miss that energy, bro. Bro, they like, were good. Like, don't, don't do that. Black Eyed Peas. I got really a good. feeling. Ooh, yeah. That song was played everywhere. I, I Movies, see. Family Guy, yeah, like it had right. it, everything, and that and that was a good song, I got bro. That boom, boom, it was. Boom. I just missed that how boom, music boom, was because music now, because like here's my thing. Everyone got their own. Like I get everyone got their own flavor now. And that's beauty in that as well. But it's like when it comes to like these the social functions, man, that shit is ass. 
Especially what, if you had what? a house party. Going to that shit. Did you want to talk about? You had a house jumping. Yeah. House parties now is is like it's unless man. you unless like you in like a media hub like L A, New York Atlanta. Or, or Atlanta or some shit like that. You're networking or whatever. Ain't no fucking point in going to no house party, man. At I all. think I'm done. I mean, like I st- I still go just just in the I don't even, I, I, just, I just disappointed be, every I time cool just yeah, being around I'd motherfuckers just and shit. Go to the club, right, but the man. actual the like party bad. aspect of it, niggas don't know how to throw parties no more. No. For real, you know what I'm saying? That too, and people don't. Man, you seen like old '90s videos, with, like like Tupac in the in the in the, in the, in the pool party, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, shit like, like shit like man. Those I was like, I'm yeah. trying to. <laughs> like, I'm a jig to, no. oh, That's man, not, bro. That looks live, bro. But I nowadays, that, bro, like I, you got I everybody doing like, what they could be doing at their house on their like, phones. Like, 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 and here's the, you know, here's the, I'm not, I'm not gonna say. Right. I'm not what gonna say that, that about the. Uh, oh, go, go, I ain't gonna say that that time is over. I still feel like you can have decent ass parties these days. Like it's just a matter of the music you play and the how you set that shit up. You know what I'm saying? People there got It's so easy. Only two styles of music are getting played at parties. People are too cool for school now. Exactly. Exactly. You said two types. You said you being generous. What's the two? Nigga, oh, twerk music bang, bang. and the bang, bang, bang. <laughs> yes. all you kids, all kids. I give it that. It's just annoying though, cause like even like with motherfucker, like of course Drake Chuck will get played booty. all the time, but like you know these parties. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's different for 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 other cities and states, but being in the Chicago area, goddamn. It's just all this aggressive ass shit. Like, right. goddamn, motherfuckers gotta get killed, slayed, and every goddamn yeah. song y'all play at the party. How many? To, that's why these niggas walk up here looking aggressive slide. as shit. Yeah. Cause I don't play is bang bang shoot a nigga. Then you got these big ass <laughs> black ass motherfuckers coming through just trying to mean mug everybody. Clicked <laughs> up. I'm like, why you come here trying to fight somebody? Sit your punk y'all ass down. That, y'all got the, what? the music with the energy oh. and then oh. it don't mix. All right. they wanna play is bang bang shoot a nigga on this, this, this these random ass songs that don't that's nobody right. know except for the motherfucker that got the, 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 got the ox. Yeah. I'm like. Nigga, if you don't just play some shit that everybody know, if you don't just play some goddamn Drake shit, how hard is to play some fucking Drake? I'm trying to say, man. I'm not I like that, I'm a big Drake fan, but I'm not like the Drake biggest Drake fucking sack rider, but shit. You can put on lick me like a lollipop in the party. I might just dance to it. Something. Something. Well, Something. Come on. Yeah, at least everybody knows. You can play that. some you, you can yeah. play some T Pain now, so fucking yeah, get buy you jiggy a drink to that. Right, for real. I feel what you're saying. Like, can we just what happened to the feel good music? That's Even like with R and B now, it's just everybody nasty. Trying to turn up. Which they still always had the nasty music, but even now it's just all nasty and just. Man, it ain't nothing wrong with that. I can listen to it, but damn, that ain't, for me, ain't nothing wrong with the low down, dirty bruise and all. But shit, nah, I'm not trying to. Man. What happens? To, if you, if I don't you, hear that. The shame the shit. I'm sick of the twerking music. Oh. That, that's my biggest. Like, bro, like I, uh, um, uh, I don't know about the listener. Trampoline. Somebody, movie. you disagree with that, Jeremiah? Trampoline. Movie. I don't know. I'm, I'm sick of him. It's, 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 it's a balance. So it's a balance. It is a balance. It's a, it's a balance of it all. You gotta, you gotta be able to curate. You gotta be able to curate a, a vibe that everyone. Yes. Feel them crazy. No, you like both twerk music too. Like that's how you get the women going. A lot oh, of times God. That's oh, why I said time. clientele is important That's why I say You, you gotta put be that able music to get on everybody They don't even do nothing with it Everybody <laughs> gotta be able to turn up Together first You gotta play the right shit To get everybody yeah. Just in the pit together And then Yeah You True. get to the big booty bitches songs You know what I'm saying Yeah Then you let the whole do what they gotta what do What like just the feel good music the, You know what I'm saying Like me. 2000 All that stuff Like what happens like the music videos from motherfucker? You know motherfucker The music videos Where they be in there And they'll just be following the girl Dancing behind the girl Don't even know they there They going crazy Like Chris and Brown Yo and shit And you got you my attention. attention You make me wanna Like what happened to that type of shit Now it's, it's all just Oh man no Let me give you this perk And let's fuck <laughs> we don't love these hoes. <laughs> okay, yeah, like we don't, niggas ain't love oh, these I'm a, hoes. I'm a, I'm a no skeet on the sheets. Like yeah. that shit's flattering to y'all. Like, let me be the first to say it. Ain't nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with showing some appreciation to these women. Stop, stop doing that. Do you feel me? Disrespecting and thinking it's bad. What you mean? Hey, I don't think you're the best right. spokesperson for that. I ain't right. Right. We, 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 we may, don't do we may, smile like that. We may say bitch and hoe a little bit. We may say bitch and hoe a little bit in this podcast, but let it be known. We respect the women. You know what I'm saying? We all love our mamas. You know what I'm saying? They're going over the top with it now. Like these niggas are blatantly. I don't call women bitches to their face. Oh, no, I want to call that a woman too. a bitch that they deserve it. Same way I would call a dude a bitch that they deserve it. If you <laughs> acting good. like a hoe, you just being ignorant as shit in a nuisance. And scared. I'm gonna call you a bitch. Boy, yeah, it's yeah. not because you're a woman. You know what I'm saying? If a motherfucker acting like a bitch, it could be a dude. You acting like a bitch, or you acting, you're acting a goddamn fool. Or Sit your got, punk ass got, down. It depends on the context I'm talking about. The bitch. Like I'm not like you it, see you like it depends I'm, on your rhetoric. If she over, wait, so you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on now. 
Wait, yo, that's crazy. That's wait, crazy. Wait, wait, it on. Oh, you were saying <laughs> to her face, correct? No, 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 not to her face. I'm like, oh, okay. When I'm saying when I'm talking about a female, and I call her oh, a, a bit. Oh man, that's okay. That's cool. It, comes, it, 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 it depends on the the context. It's very specific. Some girls kind of like being called a bitch. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, which is really it weird. Depends, though. My only problem is I don't like. Uh, what's it? No, no, he's hundred percent well, correct. Depends on he's the context. Correct. Depends on the context. Not don't hit him with a. Man, go get my sandwich, bitch. Nah, everybody, talking everybody talk about that. Shit. Everybody talk about that. Everybody talk about that. We talk about, you know what I'm saying, when you, you know, when you when you lay yeah. back with your with your shorty. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all got that understanding. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, I see what you're certain saying. Certain things can let certain things gonna slide cause cause it's just in the moment. You know what I'm saying? Perfect example. I love you, bitch. I ain't never gonna stop loving you. I, I take it a step further. My I don't lie. My Me and my girl, we play a lot. We like we we always fucking around. So like Exactly. So, so like, she called me a bitch. Consistent. I call her a bitch yeah, like that. So, so shit, one man. time we was in the car, I forgot what we was doing. We might have been smoking or something. I forgot what we was doing. And she asked me, she was like, Can I get to go get another cup of coffee? She already had had three. I'm like, nah, bitch, you good. <laughs> like <laughs> okay. you feel me? It's with it wasn't no disrespect. Yeah, right. It was just yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Same thing we talked to a dog, man. But yeah, um, but my only problem when it comes to like the bitch and the this is man between black people, cause the whole bitch and niggas thing. Like I call you a bitch, you call me nigga. Like the rhetoric is ridiculous. Oh, that's my bitch, or oh, that's, that's my, my nigga. nigga. I will never be with no woman that calls me her nigga, cause that why are you yeah, referring like to me that. with the same rhetoric like as a goddamn slave owner? Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. like that. No, y'all girls better even. not be calling call y'all uh, her nigga. And that's yeah, the like that. and that no, don't do that. Stop that. Stop that, that shit. I'm not, girl, I don't, I don't refer to you. Her nigga. That falls to the black. whole like Eurocentric idea no, that like women are property like women. Like, I got a problem with black women saying that shit too. Yeah, it's crazy. I think the whole rhetoric is kind of ridiculous. Like, I don't know, but it's like saying, "Oh, that's my bitch." Blah blah. That's your rhetoric, and you guys both agree to. I guess that's what it is. But I don't know. I just like look at it things like from face value when it comes to that. It's like, bro, how do y'all sound? Yeah. Especially like a public sound? place. That's my like. Oh, that's my bitch over there. Like, what the hell? Like, I'm saying that <laughs> that's my girl, that's my woman, or that's my wife, or whatever. Like, yeah, that's shit the like old that. lady. You feel and then like, I don't want her to refer me like, like, oh, that's my nigga. Or yo I nigga lame, I'm gonna get me a new nigga. I'm no, like, I de- I de- why are we I definitely, so I definitely see what you're like saying. This. I definitely see what you're saying. I, I think. No, I definitely feel. I definitely feel what you're saying. I think about that type of shit. Like, dang, do you I'm think calling her my bitch. But at the same, but at the it's same the time, like, where do you I cross the line? Really, the at the same time, so though, sometimes crossed. that's that's just. That's just how y'all talk to each other. That's just how y'all. Yeah, you know very nice couple. It. This shit roll off yeah. tongue, you know. I understand it, but shit, man. I just man. I she know like, what it is. You know what it is. As a retaliation, I couldn't cuff. Anyway. I couldn't cuff no woman that's calling me her nigga like that. And I, I don't. And I don't think. And I would understand if a woman want, wouldn't want me to wouldn't want to cuff me or whatever right. if I'm calling her my bitch or whatever like that. It is the the rhetoric is just crazy to me. I tell you, bro. Some women like that. Like, I know. I don't. I can't. But I don't feel so. comfortable myself. I don't feel comfortable that. myself either. Like, I see it to the guys like as a joke. No, I'm not going like, to be I'm like, oh, lie. that's like. As as bad as it sounds like you saying the whole like calling my nigga like it's cool like I guess it's like my girl white so she can't say that but like yeah but like oh god if, if, uh, shorty don't don't, don't, don't you ever let her cross that man I guess I'm hit her with that OJ I guess I'm cool with it because I guess I know like where she coming from what she mean by it but like I don't think you can keep using the term my nigga. Like I don't think it's okay if you say it every once in a while, but like keep using the term like that's my nigga, that's my man, or like that's so unattractive. And mm, I feel like that sounds more derogatory. And I feel like that's kind of why I stir away from a lot of these black women because they use that. Ter- I'm so serious. Like they use the term "my nigga." <laughs> okay, or like, going, yeah, I, I understand that. I think that's a big problem in the black community. Us calling each other niggas and bitches all the goddamn time. Can we just refer to us as just yeah. another goddamn human being, I'm a person? Can I be your man? Can I be your man? How hard is it to call me uh, your man? <laughs> nah, mean, listen, listen, society, listen. Though. Definitely, there's got to be also that side of it. When there's real respect in the relationship, then that's gonna be your that you her man. But some people, that's girl, all they say is niggas and bitches. Right? If that's all they saying, then you then you on oh, my phone. Let me get in the even mic. you. You don't want just call right now. Yeah, say that's if that's really all they call never say that's my bitch. Right? If that's really all you call each say other, girl. Right, right? Exactly. Exactly. If that's really all you calling each other, then that's not even a real but relationship. I get it. I'm not talking about like you poking. You know what I'm saying? If that's some toxic, that's real toxic energy. Yeah. If y'all really just like that's my nigga, that's my bitch. That's a real toxic energy. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. No, already not like, 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 like what god damn like I, damn. you can't even really if that's all they saying i wouldn't even call them a couple for real i wouldn't call them like oh yeah they no they probably some you know what i'm saying they, they mess yeah. with each other but like, like they call me bitch, that's one in the next couple you know? months type Lord, shit, that's, like, at that point like why even they gotta be together just off like the lust 
That sounds about right. If their relationship is that toxic, <laughs> here, here goes my, to my next lead into a topic. How do y'all feel about these people who? Because I know we see a lot of it in like our what? generation, people who just hop in and out of different relationships like every other month. That's their business. I th- I'm, not, I'm not cool with it, but. That ain't you for know, me, like but that's their that business. Live, man. I, yeah, that's I they feel business. like someone I mean, has to be the one to tell them like you're gonna mess your life up because that's why? like, man, you see, that's how people be having babies and just passing off and having more babies and yeah, that's true. You got these walking sperm donors, you know but me, I don't cuff none. But like, I say cause not I, at this stage of my life. Like, I mean, I'm trying to get shit going. I, I definitely feel that, but keep going. I definitely feel that. No, I'm just saying, just for me, it's just a distraction. Like I said, I I, I wouldn't want to be running with fast women all the goddamn time either because it's like. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get mine. Like, you know, my homie, the little tallywhacker, he gotta get his too. He got a mind of his own. But at the same point in time, like, we trying to get shit done and we young and shit, but. And having a woman makes take, it a lot harder. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, ho, yeah, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did, you, get shit did, you, done, did you say you had a tallywhacker? Just a little tallywhacker? I just said my tallywhacker. Now you, you said you're a little tallywhacker. I'm pretty sure I heard I that right. Say little man. Come on, dog. Hey, I, I just gotta. <laughs> John got a little wee wee? Come on. Ty, say. You might, wanna, you might wanna bleep that part out right there. Nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> edit it edit it right now. Edit it right now. Say my space when rocket. I say this is little bro, I mean in comparison to like the rest of my body. Say the space fair. rocket needs some attention. That's fair. Or it's just the smallest portion of your body. That's what he just said, stupid that's ass. What I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like I call it little bro because it it's like proportion to my portion. body. But damn, y'all make me get thing. off topic. I don't even remember what the fuck I was talking about no more, man. Now you was talking you was talking you was talking about uh, ducking these hoes. Oh yeah, it's just yeah, if you just constantly chasing women and shit, like, are you really getting shit done? I don't mean if you have one girlfriend, but even with your no. girlfriend, you got to understand the boundaries, bro. Because so many of these people, that's nothing I want to talk about too. It's like I've been seeing people on Twitter, women, and all this stuff talk about. It's like, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, uh, like why do so many women? I'm. Mean, it's not all of them, but why do I think it's a concerning amount of women that they feel like they feel as though. If a man likes them, they have to talk to their ass every goddamn day of the week. Man, and not every goddamn the week, but that's so crazy, you throughout the whole day as well. I need you to text me in the morning, the middle of the day, the evening, the night time, seven days a week. It's like, yeah. bro, I ain't trying to talk to my mama seven days a week. <laughs> <laughs> I Let alone your ass, I man. Think, oh, God. Y'all think, my homies. I know y'all my whole life, but oh I ain't God. trying to see y'all black asses every goddamn you day of the week. Me, like, we I don't think, live together. We don't live together. So why we got to see each other? Every goddamn day, sit I, your punk my, ass my down. man, chill, man, my no, man. I'm I'm sick, sick of that, that shit. Like, that's an issue that's going on, like kind of with me right now, like the seeing each other thing. Like, I just seen her like three days ago. We just had a like not even a fight. It was kind of like a little scuffle about me not wanting to come over. Like, All I just time. saw you. I just saw you three days ago. I like, think I'm that's. Not trying to... I think that's a societal thing. So like. You know, in today's culture, when, uh, yeah, I think that's very much like a today thing. Yeah. Um, what's it called? Everybody's trying to call somebody a cheater. Go ahead. Everybody's trying to call somebody a cheater. So you get these tweets or shit. Even mama on TikTok. If he's not texting you back after three hours, he's cheating. Or like, yeah. if he's not, uh, you know, Hell telling yeah. you good morning, beautiful, he's telling to somebody else. Hell like, yeah. everybody is thirsty to call somebody a cheater. So when they see. Us men doing our own shit, maybe just playing a game, what listening you? to music, taking a fucking nap. It's damn Armageddon because they not niggas is damn near my, cheating. My my thing is like, I hate it when people don't respect your time. Yeah, because here's my thing. Let's say I have a job or whatever, and I'm doing or we doing this or whatever. My free time is not. Don't confuse that with my availability. Right. Like just because my just because I'm, I'm not at work or yeah. whatever doesn't mean. That's automatically your time. Like, I'm talking about yeah. shit is that. Yeah. Like, like, I value your time. You got to value my shit too. Like the world doesn't revolve around you. Like even then, like I have other people in my life that matter. Like some people, some women, they expect you to, once you get in a relationship with them, to damn near cut off everyone else around yeah. you. Cause I understand. Cause like if you're, if you're in, if you're, in a, if you're in a relationship with a woman, ideally it's like, well, it should be this way that you can see yourself spending the rest of your life with this person. And eventually right. down the road, like you will live with this person or whatever, Definitely. but can y'all just like be bachelors and b- bachelorettes, like regular motherfuckers? Like you ain't gotta see each other every damn day of the week if you if if you don't see each other. It's, it's just annoying, bro. Like they don't people don't really respect your time for real because it's like like I said, it's a, it's a common mis- it's a common like argument that's between men and women right now, saying that like a lot of men they kind of um they cling on to like their mother too much or whatever type shit. Like like someone a lot of women they think like. 
if you that once you get in a relationship with them that that's supposed to be your woman and right. your mom's supposed to take a back seat yeah. which i understand to a, a certain degree because i don't agree with no that I, 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 I i'm not saying i fully agree with i'm not saying because that's a big problem i have with that because it's like bro this motherfucker raised me since birth they've been here way before you've been here they know even when it comes to friends and other family they know things about me that you will never know mm-hmm. and that's not disrespect to you but everyone, like, you're not the only person that matters in this world. Facts. And that's the, that's what I think goes. I think people are just too selfish in relationships. They facts. are so focused on what they want. Facts. They're not focused on the other person. Ooh, maybe facts. even you. Maybe you yourself, you're not that big on friends. Because some people, they just don't have as many friends or whatever. Or whatever. Mm-hmm. But that's you. But you also have to respect that someone else, like, I look at y'all. Y'all like my brothers, bro. Like, facts. blood couldn't make us any closer. So if someone coming in automatically, they want to take that shit away. And I understand that we're not gonna see each other every damn day. Yeah. We don't now. We don't do that now. Right, like, yeah. Even we respect our boundary. We do our own thing. Hey, yeah, you gotta respect the boundary. Got to. It'd be yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, It'd be yeah, weird yeah. if we really was all up. You know what I'm saying? Trying to link every single day. It facts. And but, that, but, I think that comes with the possessiveness of um, being in a relationship because it's like you said, it's usually with, more with women than men. And when it's went with men, it's because they had some kind of insanely bad yeah, upbringing. They have they have some type of trauma. So, to them. like like you said, when men, when women get with men, they usually think you're supposed to cut off all your friends. Don't even talk to your mama. Like it's supposed to be me and you. I ain't gonna say usually because I, 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 I but keep going. Man, no, but I've seen. No, cause hell I, I struggle yeah. with it. Cause I, I struggle with. I, I'll say a lot in a concerning amount, I but it's, I struggle want, with say I like. Do you want better? Because DJ can relate when it comes to. I hate to say it, when it comes to these white women, it's like that a lot of times. I don't know if it's just white women. I think it's white. I think it's women in the whole. I think whole. I think it's a lot right now from 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 a trend I'm seeing and guys I'm talking to. It, it, it is the same amongst all women, but it's not to that magnitude as, as we speaking out. Mm-hmm. They want you to cut everybody. They're getting the because a lot of times these these black women, what they really want is a man. Uh, to do every to be under their feet and do everything for them. They might not want the nigga in their face twenty four seven, but they want that nigga to you feel me pamper them and do all types of this. Why are these why are these white women from what I'm seeing and, and from what I'm seeing again, right. is that they want they want a man to to always be there. You feel me? Be that strong man in that nice time arm that's always there with you. That bodyguard that that that's gonna catch you right when you slip. Like you ain't gonna scrape your knee around this man type of guy. So like, let me ask you this: Do you think that's because they're taking a leap in race? Taking a what? Taking a leap in race. What does that mean? So basically saying like they're white women, right? They, so they, they're living with white people. So they're used and, to the white man doing that. And kind their of parents thing. probably aren't very fond of you of the white woman being with the black man. So it's either now because the parents are pissed saying. off. I see what you're saying. So it's I either don't. you don't get it. So I see what you're saying. White woman, black dude, white parents of the white woman. You think they really fucking with the black dude like that? I don't know, but I, I mean every I household is different. Every household is different, of course. But I'm saying the she's taking man, a leap. The white man is more accepted into the household than the well, black man. Let me, man let me, is. exactly. Yeah, how, how do you mean? How, me, oh, let, you mean let, like in a white family, a white man. Yeah, let's white let's, let's, let's just ask the question. How do you guys though. feel regarding uh your respective woman's uh family? Do you feel like her dad? I you feel like her parents? I let it be known. When I when I first when I first get in a relationship, they talk about uh if I let it be known how the white parents view the black boy personally. And this is personally, I don't want to meet your parents till months into us being together. I like I don't care how many. I, 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 I don't I'm looking at I'm looking at four or five months. That's fair. That's fair shit. Ain't mad at that. That's fair I mean, shit. Depending on circumstances, you always know, be meet motherfucking parents, and then y'all don't even be nothing. You feel me? Like, like that could be. I really time. don't want to. And when you meet somebody, they judge. They they judge shit out of you. I mean, it's that's human nature. So now you get all these random judgments from people that you don't even give a fuck about. You feel me? You don't even know like that. Their daughters, you don't even fuck with no more. And then now, now there's a conversation with that girl. Oh, where's so and so at? What happened to so and so? Oh, we not together no more. Why? What happened with that? Like, you feel me? And that's I, that's why I agree with that. Four to five months. I you mean, me? I think that's a safe that's a safe zone. Shit, some I would shit it if on, for the certain person, I'll take it a little longer. Cause like I just don't want to be wasting time. Yeah, I mean, I I'd, like I don't want that to be a factor. Like, cause I don't. I don't want your parents to be a factor into a relationship, and we are not even living together. Or, For real, you feel me? That's the thing. Like, I feel like if your parents don't don't say anything about who you're with, it's gonna be when y'all either married or something. Right. 
the parents or someone there's only be someone in the family is gonna be uh, opposed to them. Yeah, like, of course. That's, that's just how it goes. But like it should be at that stage of life. It shouldn't be. I shouldn't be. We going out every every other night because we both work different jobs. Can't see each other. So every night, and then your parents talking about some. Oh, you see him too much, or like, yeah, or like. We, I see what you're saying. Like, come on now, like you trying to get in between what we have going on. They want to throw their opinions at. Oh, I don't think he's doing this right. I don't think he's treating you right. And like, I don't even want to, because they don't know what we go on between just a room, just me and you. Like, I don't mm. understand why you. Why would you want that? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> But like I, like I, I said, as humans, we're just opinionated people. So, like Definitely. those opinions but, are gonna fly whether you want it to or not. And we'll always call them. It's because we love you. You know, we we just looking out for you. But sometimes those opinions are so bad that like, is it really looking out, or are you like, just trying to get something to, off your chest? Right. What are you trying to say? Yeah, exactly. Like, and that's why, like, I feel like, especially with family, family, because most family will tell you how shit is straight up, whether you like it or not. And sometimes that shit isn't mm. the most helpful. Yeah, nope. Because their view of it is wrong. Because like he said, they don't know what the fuck goes on right. between closed doors between me and that other person. Mm. So like that's okay. why that's why I'm saying for some of those like white and like interracial couples, the parents might fuck that up because they're sitting here when she's at home. They're sitting there telling you, you shouldn't be with no black boy. Like he's gonna be dangerous, yeah, all that kind of good. stuff. I guess y'all can speak on this more. Cause I feel like me and Jeremiah are just listening to y'all ass talk. Cause uh, yeah, we don't know about uh, being dating white women like that. I mean, it's it's a battle, bro. Cause like I'm trying to say, I've always, I've always, know. I've always been, been just been low key curious. What is it like to date a white woman? Just like, just like on like a a, yeah, a talking a level, a communication level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't hold my tongue when I you when I talk to my girl. I don't hold my tongue. You can't. Talk to just any white girl. If depends that, if that of, it depends what type of dude there's you definitely are. subcategories. <laughs> like, the subcategories like, of white women. Like you got you the whoa Vicky, and then you got like the <laughs> the, the, the the standard. We've Karen. seen the whoa Vicky. The standardized the Karen. Karen you right. feel me? That's but the two. That's the two extremes. My, le- my, my level middle. is I like a little Somewhere like. In the middle. I like mine where like they got some sense. You know, they still got their little white sense. Yeah, and nobody should want a dumbass. But they they still got that cultural like they they know what they talking about. Yeah. Like they they, they, I, they I hope that. You feel me? They they know what they they about. You feel me? They know how to act when they go out and be around other black folks. Stuff like you feel me? Go around other people other who are not white. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, there's definitely people that. Like hey, that. but how you gonna handle it when y'all living in the same house and you got to deal with her cooking all the time though? Who <laughs> that's the biggest goddamn thing, man? See. See that that's what I I'm don't get it. know. This is where I go from my standpoint of what kind of white women. I personally, this is personally, I like to find some who who come from families Culture who house. cook. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Because okay. here's fair. the thing, though. Just because just because you name black people food don't mean it's not good. Now, like I said, Italian food top three to me. See, and and, and that, that's I what I've been rocking. That's what I've been rocking with a lot of Italian. Italian food is that's a, why splendid. I'm with a lot of His black girls. ass just don't like nothing but goddamn chitlins and goddamn no, gizzards and shit. No, I don't shit. even like that. black ass bitch. Goddamn nah. sucking on chicken. Food. I'm just not will, a fan of pasta. I will, say, legs. Though, I will say the one thing I I'm, I will want to like I will miss. I'm gonna have to go home, like to go eat type shit. It's like I miss soul food. I like yes, I miss soul food. Yes. Even that's though thing, that's I don't thing. eat, I don't eat or, like pork or, or the beef and shit like that no more. But like, man, the I Thanksgiving love it. plate. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. It's I don't unmatched. know. I'm white, white people. I love y'all, unmatched. man. I love all people. But I don't know if I can do that white Thanksgiving dinner. I ain't um, never even seen a white Thanksgiving this, dinner. You, have now, you not been on Snapchat? Besides in cartoons. Now. Have you not been on Snapchat? Man. But let me tell you now. It ain't just the white people that got them fucked up place now. I be seeing a lot of black people that got them funky ass looking place. Yeah. And I be, I be looking. I, every Thanksgiving, I, I, I be people, I'm, like, days, I'm like, it's a lot of nasty ass. These days, though, women in general. No, go and ahead and say it. In general, general, like, like cooking ain't cooking ain't a it ain't value the skill. For it's women not. No it's not. not well, and I understand like to a certain degree to. because men can do like it too. To. I mean, there's a lot of great male chefs. Well, yeah, they say the greatest chefs in the world. I mean, but I'm, but I'm saying like, but we we all you know you know you know what we talking about though. People, but it's different time. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but at the same point in time, I think just like a lot of times a woman like they like security, right? I'm not saying that they all women like oh. The man need to pay all my shit, right. but like a man that got something going for him, like got their own shit going. Same way like a man likes a woman that goes. A lot of men like they like women that go. Uh-huh. They have things going for them. You're yeah. Right. But that's kind of a natural thing. I feel like it's still kind of a natural thing with a lot of men, and it's not a bad thing because I even myself I I reside with this. I resonate with it. It's like when a woman know how to cook, it's a bonus. It's, it's different. It, may, it it changes. It changes. Yeah. It it changes that's when I start thinking bit. about like. 
Man, this Life's might long. be for the, the, yeah, the long, long time. Because it's a real, it's a real yeah. skill that kind of adds and to you. Because yeah. like, yeah. you know a lot of us, because all of our mamas now, our parents and shit, and our families and shit can cook their ass off. I've been with a lot of women that so, can't so, cook. So, so, it's like, yeah. so it's like, I've been eating good my whole life. Real. I'm not trying to stop, stop that. eating good. Yeah, I'm not that. trying to stop eating good. Right. I ain't trying to, I've been having like the mac and cheese on niggas giving that baked mac and cheese. I ain't trying to have no grilled chicken breast salad. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean, I ain't trying I to go from the goddamn the baked mac and cheese to that goddamn cheese Runny, soup yeah, motherfuckers right, yeah. eating. I ain't <laughs> trying to eat that shit, man. I can't do it. Do black people even make casseroles? Black people make casseroles. I ain't had a casserole in forever. Black people make casserole. I don't think I've ever you had, had a corn ca- casserole. No, corn uh, casserole fire. What it was in it? Uh, it's like cornbread with some corn in it, corn, kind of. That's it. But it's like kind of like moist. It got meat it's in moist it? though. No. Okay, so no, I think I my mom did like no, something it's similar fire. to that, but it has meat, but cheese, even that, like corn, mashed potato. A lot of things considered bread. casseroles, things that aren't even called I casserole. Really, I don't, don't really eat casseroles. I don't like casserole fire. Facts. If they can actually eat. cook, like I don't know if you've been to Cracker <laughs> like Barrel. Like I said, they have to be able to cook. That has brown casserole. Is. I don't. But eat, speaking I don't, of that, I don't though, don't man. Speaking, speaking of eating good, though, man, that gets me to a question. We at one. We are hour forty five right now, so. You're getting close to winding it down. Right. I want to ask some would you rather questions, man. Or I only got one to top my dome right now. Go but ahead. would you rather give up sex? Whatever the other option is. Or food. And keep in mind, with food, you can survive without it. Like they say you give up food, you can survive. And you get sex, like somehow we preserve the human race. So just this face value. Would you have to you have to give up one of the two? Would you rather give up Relations, you know what I mean, right? A food, sex. I'm giving up food, God. bro. I'm giving up sex fast as hell. What you got? I like eating. pussy is not better than I ain't than, than mac and cheese. I ain't, and shit like I ain't that, gonna, bro. I ain't gonna cap dog. This is the hardest question I've ever heard in my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta think twice food? between pussy, A and, pussy and chicken, nigga. You gotta, you gotta think uh, of the difference. The mouth still work, like you're talking about. I don't know. Right, you're shorty, I don't gotta no, put it. No, that's out. oral sex. Now you said no sex. Oh, no, wait. no oral, no oh nothing. See, you didn't get specific. No, no, I guess he, I guess no. he did. I guess he did. Because yeah, he said, it's, he said relationship. Well, I got one of the motherfuckers You're going the rest right. of your life not busting a nut again. Yes. Nah, that ain't true. Get your hand. Or no food. Fleshlight. Hand. Is masturbation allowed? I gotta uh, eat. I gotta uh, eat. I don't, I, uh, I gotta eat. You know what it is. Don't do that. Sure, I gotta yes. eat. Even if masturbation allowed, I'm picking. I'm giving. I gotta up eat. I'm not masturbating for, so for the rest did, of my life. So you will exactly. live on water or fucking liquid for the rest of your life. Yeah, I mean, he said I'll live. He said I'll make a it. freaky dude. He said <laughs> I'll make it. Oh, you're insane. You're Look, Jeremiah, dude. you know these dudes just call you crazy. I don't think, I don't think, and that's I think you may be a little crazy, but the I don't thing think is, that's freaky. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Though. Oh, you know, that's freaky, nigga. You yeah. freaky <laughs> but my thing is, I'm not mad at you. Because like I said, I said they chose quick. Me, I'm like, this is the hardest question I've ever heard in my fucking life. I don't know if I can choose. You got me fucked up. You might, no. you might have to put me on no, that. You might, you, might, you might have to put me on under I that hate, damn guillotine. Listen, I hate sitting Smoke in front of. Listen, with a little I little hate asparagus. sitting in front of that laptop, man. Oh, I hate bro. them nights. I, I don't. I couldn't do that for the rest got of my me, life. Ben. I wouldn't. Got me Ben. I couldn't do it. Bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just. Mm. Got no. me, All right. Ben. I I need I, do I need better. the actual pussy. I don't know if I could. Do I do you one better. What you can't eat, you have to have or you can't have sex with the same person you with for the rest of your life. You said what? You have to have sex with that person for the rest of your life. So it's person you again. fucking say right it, now. It, 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 either you either choose between the food or fuck the same person you with for the rest of your life right now. Well, I'm not in a relationship. We're saying this is a this and is a, in general. You would, that one I person. Said, this is a dangerous question because y'all two in a relationship. That's a dangerous. Y'all question. all relationships. I'm not in it. Cause, cause now, now you gotta say really whatever the hell I want. Now you really gotta talk about it. You gonna pick the food Yo or your girl for the rest of your life? Also, oh, okay, sex with my girl or I mean, oh, I'm sorry, sex with my girl or food? Yeah. Nigga, he already said in general he going with yeah, the sex. He I'm, gonna I'm, choose I'm, the I'm, sex I'm again. Pick sex. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick that. So I'm you have sex that. with the girl. So I don't. I, get and how I love. You just live off liquid. Man. I don't That's know, man. I love to eat. I love my girl. I love eating too. I love eating too. But also that little. But 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 also I love eating too. But I got a long life to live, man. Yeah, and I'm right. just not trying to go the rest of it without busting another nut. Well, hit, 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 you can. You just got to do it with your hands. I love man. food. That like. I love I food, know. but but that them that pink motherfucker. Oh my god. Shit. You nigga, there's a, a reason. Hand. You better man. grab a Nigga, there's a reason why Cooch, man, well, yeah. in this game, us, man, we, we just, we ain't, it, the odds are stacked against us, man. <laughs> I ain't saying that's they all, not all the women know that we want Coochie, man. I ain't saying that's not oh, correct. Oh, no, we want it. I ain't saying that's okay, not correct at all. But, but over food, nigga, 
Like, I'm not. I haven't, made, eat I, haven't made a, I haven't made a decision Come on, yet, guys. Women has a lot more to offer than just coochie. Shut up. Like, like, we not, ta- we not <laughs> talking about that shit right now, <laughs> man. We talking about the goods, the food, and the shit to lighten up the mood. Goddamn coochie, man. You fucked up, man. If my, the waterfall. If my damn aunt get in that damn kitchen, shit, you can just look, man. Piss, look, look, listen, 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 listen. I respect all y'all decisions. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yo, this is, this is like a pastor. <laughs> it's a hard ass decision. I it still haven't came to a conclusion yet. I feel, like, I, I feel like if I chose one or the other, is, I would lose a part okay, of myself. What is, what is the food that you can't give up? What, what is it? It's all of it. Nigga, food in general. Food in general. Food is like, it's just. It's just one of them gifts from the Christ thing, himself, bro. Like when you said you got these bitches out here, yo, black ass saying, eating all that chicken and shit. I, man, you act, you almost like you chose sex like it was nothing. Nah, I mean, shit. I mean, I, I I love me some shit. I love you. I'm finna some Popeyes when we done with all this, man. I'm finna. You Popeyes can't even do that. that. Popeyes do sound good. I love all you that. Can't even but, do that. But you, I you, just you do poutine. You you poutine. Right. Come on, man. But I feel like that's just an experience but, in but life. That's, 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 that's just a certain piece experience of the life that pleasure. like I just feel like. <laughs> what's the <laughs> point if you can't have it? What's the point? <laughs> so you saying what's the point of life if you can't have sex? I told you, bro. He's not learning else in that thought process, bro. Like I said, in this game. The women is like they meant to win. It's rigged in their favor. So, hold on. They control all the access to Your the shit. On, bro. Guess what? We would go to the club. No, we true. go there. Well, like, honestly, like, we like, went like, to the club and we spent all that damn money. We went to the club. I spent three hundred. Some I can do three hundred dollars. <laughs> People bought like four dances for me too. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars each for a dance for new. <laughs> I walked out of there with four dollars, and nigga, I wasn't even mad about it. Okay, but a woman ain't that. doing that shit. Slow keep down, keep, bro, come on now Slow down bro Slow down Most people in the male strip clubs Is men Slow down I mean I wouldn't know Pause But you know what I mean, you know what I mean? But So you telling me That without pussy Boy. Life is pointless like, I, I, didn't say, like, I, I didn't say all that honestly, shit honestly, He did no, no, no. Wait no, no, no. I'm, I'm, no, 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 no I'm that nigga said What's the point listen, <laughs> Thank you No no listen listen, listen. That's crazy Okay, okay listen Listen Tomorrow but then you walking, you walking around your neighborhood, just on whatever type shit. You say you like to go out for walks, right? Yeah, I go for a walk every day. Out of nowhere, one I'm tired day, of people calling me fat as hell all the time. Out of nowhere, one day, <laughs> get sick of that shit. Why you look at me when you say that? Because get... all y'all be doing that bullshit. <laughs> out of nowhere, one day, right, we'll man, say we'll say some person improving. driving, going all crazy as hell, hit you with that shit, and your lower half don't work no more. Okay, don't can't function at all. Okay, you 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 good with that? Because you can still eat some food. Yes, we been do Hell kill no. myself because I can't use the bottom of half of my fucking body. Trust me, right now, Shit. you still gonna get your cravings. You can live without it, but you still gonna get your cravings for that food. But you can't eat it. You think you're not thinking about it all the way until you get to that moment where you're like, "Damn, I'm black as hell, Shit. and I really want these goddamn chicken." You telling me? You telling me? You telling me? I gotta? You telling me? I gotta have? I gotta have all this? And then you can't have it. You telling me? You telling me? though for the rest of my life, I'm just gonna be sitting there looking at girls like, "Man, I wish I could fuck that." Man, her titty's so big. Hey, just focus man, on I yourself, like man. man. I gotta wait till I get home in front of a laptop. Listen, I'm playing devil's advocate. I'm just playing both uh, sides. Nigga, that's bullshit, dude. Lie. You can leave Hell make, no. Nigga. No, I'm not living like that. I'm not Bro, living listen, like that. Th- that's why it's a crazy word. You rather cra- I thought it was crazy as hell that y'all I'd rather came up with answers so fast. Popeyes again. Bro, I thought it was so crazy that y'all came up with them answers bro. so fast because, yeah, bro, life without either one of those is trash. But that is well, it depends what type of man you are, cause some people, cause some people ain't like they not real like sexual. I think I make it just fine without the food. So nah, yeah, I'll be, but for a I'll sexual be, being, right. you be on the brick br- 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 like, of death. As I got food. You be on the brick of that's food, nigga. I might be the food. Nah, nah, you said thinking food? about what Jeremiah said. I'm willing to change my answer. I ain't gonna lie. Right for the rest of your life, we you go gotta ahead. be kidding. You gotta be joking, bro. Think about it. You, we, why we, we, just, we just talked about going to the store. If, just, if my, that's the rest of your if, life, if my tally go well, numb, this moment don't work no more. You might as well bury me, bro. Oh God, can, can you, you, can't cap, bro. Bro, you can't look, cap, bro. You can't cap, bro. Life is so damn ridiculous, bro. You look, telling me y'all can't do nothing but with your life and have fucking sex all day? No, no, no. Why is it I'm saying? I'm not supposed to. You know, that's why I'm playing devil's advocate. Like, just like you said, whole life would life be without sex? Like, bro, you can work on yourself. You can get your bread up, do all this other Come shit. On, bro. But, 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 at the same point in time, like, I, I see, you know, what I'm saying, I see what they mean. What they mean as well. But they, they, I feel like they extreme with it though. Man, just be, just, it imagine, imagine, like imagine someone walked up to you. Fucking, imagine someone is it there for bro, imagine someone walked up to you right now and said, urinating. Bro. Imagine someone walked up to you. Getting rid of right waste, motherfucker. Like that's the, that's the human anatomy. Like what the hell you Man, mean? But we're not going to act like bro. And bro. Going and into that 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 certain spot but too. DJ, like, come DJ, on, man. DJ. 
Speak, motherfucker. Lil, Speak. Bro, Lil bro is a part of you. That's a I part agree. Of who you are, I'm not your soul. debating that at all. Is quite is literally and figuratively an extension, extension. of you. My nigga never your forgive soul. me. I am not debating that. <laughs> we see one in there. Lil bro was there. I'm not debating that. Try and say. guess what else was there? That good ass food that your mom, your mom, black ass motherfucker made for your black ass. With your ass in my life. Uh, I still haven't come. I, I still haven't made a decision. Uh, I'm gonna let y'all handle that. Boy. I just picked my answer, so I don't even know. You if say, I can hey, you said I'm living right. right. I'm decent. Yes. I survive. Yes. I'm fine. Yes, like some even even can if I drink you water? if you have no sex either, like somehow we can just still make babies. Can somehow. I drink water? Land. What about ice cream? Does ice cream count? No. Yeah, that's food. Yeah, it's food, motherfucker. Smoothies. That's yeah, food. That, that consists of. So all it is just water, soda, lemonade, stuff like that. Fine. That's, I'm cool with that. <laughs> I'm good. Shit. I'm still healthy. Am I like? Am I Early slowly dying from not having, having food? food? In this life, the, the can you God get drunk? Slowly dying if I ain't never gonna get God no pussy. just gave us a goddamn stick to just have fun with. God damn it, mm, bro! <laughs> I ain't the saying it ain't important. All I'm saying God. is I'm prioritizing but, but my body. Though. I ain't gonna cap though, because I understand like the whole thing. I talked about this before on Two Brothers, other channel, me and DJ shit. Pussy is power, right? One hundred percent. But it's also the power. said it. This is right here. I'm about to speak some gospel right now. Pussy is power, but it's also the power that you put into it. A hundred percent. I feel right. sometimes us men, we put way too we much, put power, too much into power into it. We will simp and do stupid we shit. We act for like it. women mm-hmm. don't like the pain. Mm-hmm. And some women act like they don't like the pain. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you better put some respect. This is the power staff of life. Yes, sir. This is the gatekeeper. This is the power Preach. staff. Preach. I'm gonna put this motherfucker down like Gandalf. <laughs> Preach, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, Come on now. Mm-hmm. Come on now. We hold the essence. Yes. Mm-hmm. You better put some respect on the power staff of life, the mm-hmm. Tally Wackers name. Yes, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Making a child is a two way street. Mm-hmm. Come on, two way street. We need both now. Yes, sir. Like, like I said, pussy is power, but it's pussy the power, power that you put into it. Facts. But it damn sure is powerful, though. Man, but power I said power. Be honest, be, honest, be honest. Hey, real talk, real talk. Anybody here? Be honest. Any y'all cop on OnlyFans before? Who paid for OnlyFans? God, Who did it? God damn. Who did it? I have not. I, I have it. I put it on my life. I have not. What? Who did it? Who here? Why, why you doing? I didn't pay yet. Are we talking all this shit? We talking all this shit? I haven't paid yet. I was not paying one of these niggas. I'm going to tell the truth. I'm I respect the, the honesty, bro. I'm going to tell the truth. Y'all trying to get me in trouble. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I'm. Cause I know my girl gonna see this. Like, forgive me, but like, I don't look at OnlyFans like, all right, I'm finna go, you know, finna go see some action, get this little thing off. No, I see it as in like, what is everyone paying for? So you, I, it's curious. So you like, paid so to see what everybody else seeing. I haven't paid yet. Right, I haven't paid but yet. You, I'm it's still curiosity. Paying. It's the curious. Like, what are we? Oh, paying? you haven't paid for it yet. What you ain't got it yet. Paying for? Oh, okay, okay. How far? Uh, it's like a, how it's like far a, does this go? Would you, you call me? Patreon, Brandon? Um, the OnlyFans for YouTubers, like yeah, Patreon, it's just, the OnlyFans for YouTubers, like it's like a behind the scenes work. I'm getting butt ass naked on this motherfucking camera, but you can only see it if you pay for this OnlyFans. But how far is that? Is, what y'all doing on y'all? But how far does this what? being no. butt naked on screen still Come on, go? No. <laughs> like, how what? far does this go? What do you mean? Like, that's I what mean, they want you to pay for. It that that's the that's the way of consumerism but, works. But, 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 curiosity. But I know. But with all these requests, how far are these people going? That's requests. What do you mean? Oh, you mean like you mean like the woman? Like oh, that's, the ploy of that's what I'm, I'm, I, I'm trying to understand. I mean, like, hmm. what more? That's the ploy they're using. You don't know, so you want to know. But you can. But go, do you want to pay that twelve ninety nine a month though? That's what they want you to debate. I ain't never paid no fun. So you nine. think that's the catch that like man, that you, that's you know what nigga? Swallow your pride. I'll admit it. I'll say with my chest that I done bought plenty of OnlyFans. <gasps> okay. Wait, plenty? What you mean plenty? How many is plenty? What's plenty? Now, no, 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 no. Now, <laughs> see, man, I really want to know. Seeing that poor hubbing stuff like this is all free, bro. It ain't the same. It's not. It's not. Listen, listen. I've never done it, but it, it makes sense. Listen, it wouldn't, listen, it wouldn't be. Listen. It's on a I'm personal level. I'm not spending no goddamn mortgage, okay? But certain motherfuckers, you just get a little, you just get a little curious, man. Hundred percent. And if you see they got that sale, right? And mm. It's for two ninety nine. <laughs> I'm like, well, shit, nigga. I mean, that's I can spare three dollars. But now that's less than a goddamn small fry at the goddamn McDonald's. But now there's these <laughs> girls who, who who are making you pay thirteen dollars for this I shit. I can give you the inside scoop on this. Look, I know for sure, them girls be scamming. I figured that much. I figured. I heard about their posts. Huh? In terms of what they post, oh, it'd be the worst thing when you go in there and it's like that's what I'm man, saying. Like, like, like they'll they'll advertise it, like they'll advertise it, like crazy. it's something like you go in there and they have it, but you gotta pay extra uh, for that shit on top, shit of, the on top of the subscription. Uh, I ain't never did that. 
That's fucked up, man. But I am, yeah, man. That's yeah. fucked up. Get on me all you want, dogs. My dogs in the comments. I've done it. But I know a lot of y'all watching too. Y'all done cop that shit too. But y'all ain't got the cojones <laughs> to admit that shit. Yeah, hundred percent correct. And I have to admit that shit, man. If we was That's checking true. everybody, Stop imagine it's like some. Imagine it's some. Hey, so imagine like, it's like some fine ass girl that you that you knew from your, your high school, or your college, or whatever. And now you know that she's busting the OnlyFans. Man, you this, and you want to hit that all your life. You're not gonna be just a little curious, like, hmm, I wonder what man. that shit look like. Man, I be, and all it costs is three dollars. I, 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 I knew off. I feel him on that. I don't give a fuck. None of the hoes from high school will see this. I knew for a fact that any of y'all girls I was. I know about no. Fun fact: I never about none from my high school. Nothing like that. I know they scamming. Right, they I, knew, shit. I knew. I knew they was scamming. I can, t- I can no tell. Offense, I can bro. tell when someone's not about their business. But no here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. If you go to the strip club and you blow money on strippers, I ain't trying to hear no chastising about the motherfuckers that cop the OnlyFans. That's that me right there. That's that yeah. me right there. Yeah, yeah. That's a fact, yeah, though. Yeah, right this right motherfucker yeah. blew my money at the strip club to me. This nigga blew like yeah. five hundred plus dollars at the strip club. Went crazy. Yeah, facts. Nigga, like, and guess what? Them women, they just that's just transactional. Facts. Mm-hmm. And the transaction is fast. So if you go, like, you only get now. it for a few minutes. At least the only fans you get for a month. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> a few yeah, hours. Yeah, a few right, hours. Yeah, That's, you get right, right. You might get five dollars for a whole month, fifteen for a whole month. You pay thirty dollars for goddamn two and a half minutes. Yeah, for real, you got a yeah. point on that one. Now don't get twisted. No, 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 Okay, don't just final the subject. Club, Man, this, right this might be the final subject. The booty and titties, you feel me? Oh shit! All right, all right, all right. Final subject. Did it just turn off? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, this might be the final subject. Want to talk about that booty club, man? And how some of these women. <laughs> Yo, man, talk about our experience me in, at the booty club. No, feel me in because I'm the one in the room that hasn't went, man. Feel me my in. My brother. Yeah. Some of the women no. is too no, goddamn no, 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 good no, no, at no. their job. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. Listen, if you're going to tell the story, hold on. Let me. Because you got to tell it from the beginning. The whole thing is experience. From pulling up to this crib, seeing the guys that I live my life with, just knowing, dang, we going to this strip club together. Going to be all these hoes around here. Topless bitches. Shaking ass. We going to a party and every girl is on it. Right. It was I'm a exciting. Nervous. It was sensation. It was a it, sensational feeling. Be. I was too. We pulled up there, man, and there was always some people that was supposed to be there. I right. looked in. And once I heard that music, saw them lights, I knew right there. I was like, "Oh yeah, this official. This this the shit right here." The one I walked in and saw that girl with her top ties out on stage, my brother. I was like, "We <laughs> here, my nigga." For me, it was the bouncer. Oh, the goddamn sh- shit. Yeah, them damn niggas are huge. You talking bro. about shacks? Uh, uh, like, uh, they're like they're like giants, bro. Like it's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen Kingpin, bro? Like that is like yeah, the nigga. living embodiment. Yeah, you said yeah. these niggas got big show with Mark like, Henry oh, sitting God. outside insane the damn. Insane huge. In shoulder pads. Just yeah, like shit. it's just scary. Shit. Like I wouldn't test none in that strip club. He gonna whoop my ass and then throw me out. Like literally pick my ass up. And toss me out the like damn I'm a door, little boy. Like but yes, like Uncle Phil did. Yeah. But yes, yeah, like. yeah Samaj. <laughs> when I tell you, bro, before yeah. we went to the strip club, man, my other homies that went with us, right? They were telling me, like, I remember before we went, they were saying, "Hey, man, don't go in there and fall in love, man. Don't be getting attached and shit." I'm like, "Come on, now, I ain't finna get attached, nigga. I know what it is. Just we going, we getting teed up in there." For real. Oh, like I said earlier, bro, some of them women, they too goddamn good at their job. Yeah, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. When I tell you. I was in there shorty, One shorty in there I still think of her Every once in a while To this day my brother <laughs> She was putting it on me In a different way It was like It wasn't right It wasn't right It was almost When devilish. I tell you Brandon you look at titty Huh you look like I said man 21 and in love In the club I think my milestone In like life That should be the title Of the damn peaches. You said what I think my what, milestone nigga? In life is to meet A stripper named Peaches That's Meet one I fuck Hell with that. no Yeah I fuck with that stripper named Peaches, Peaches just give me that Them ugly vibes right there Oh my god You ever seen that one, name? that one That one girl on, on uh, Instagram Peaches Y'all ain't never seen her No you ain't gotta get it I know who you're talking about Surely dirty When I hear Peaches We get, it, we get into of, that um, next time We get into that next time Or uh, uh, cinnamon Some you feel the me Some crazy crystal That was like They think they said They said Remember like I say is the uh, mm-hmm. The dinosaur I know one talking I about think Her the, name was um, Peaches Yeah who played her Queen Latifah or some yeah. shit Played her She said Her name was Peaches No 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 that was, I think that was like their Cause the she was pregnant That was like man. their safe word Like Peaches oh. Peaches So every time I hear Peaches I think of like a big woman I ain't go front <laughs> But I also <laughs> could imagine I also could imagine her being <laughs> some, the Kinda like Kinda like Stripper a Kinda like a Kinda like different names Like I don't know Like Precious Or uh, Fiona 
Those are every time I hear names. Fiona, I just, I just think of a goddamn ah, ogre. Ah, see, I feel bogus because those are definitely fat names in my eyes. Like, I, I hate no, no name that. dropping, no name dropping. You good, you good, you good, you good, you good. You good. You're good. We don't know you talking about. You good, you good. Not you're even good. that, bro. Like, I feel hey, like, hey. If her name, it was, I, I'm, I'm gonna put it like this. If her name is Fiona, most likely there's a 95 percent chance that she's built like a stack of tires. <laughs> Oh. We about to get our to- oh. hey, we about to get our cars towed in this motherfucker. All right, y'all, man. Hope y'all enjoyed that, man. It's the first episode, yeah. man. Feel like we've been doing this for a long time. For real, all, all day, damn near. Felt oh, like, oh man. No, I mean, like, I feel like we've we been, been doing it before, doing this right? for a long yeah, time. Like, like, I already feel like already. we yeah. vets. Yeah. This motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know about all that. Come on now. It was, it's man, been fun. Yeah, was man. Fun. We did it all. It was free form. You feel me? Free smooth. You know, you know what I'm saying, man? So hopefully y'all enjoyed that, man. Hey, there's plenty of stuff on this that we won't be able to. It's, it's too it's too spicy. It's too it's too juicy. You gotta wait. For YouTube and TikTok and all that, man. Wait. So you might have to go hit up the Patreon, man. We're gonna get that started, man. And trust oh, me, we're gonna have a lot of content on that. It's gonna Great be dope. Going it's gonna on. be it's gonna be dope, man. We ain't we ain't gonna tax y'all for that. We not feel like these girls with the only fans texting. Got damn twenty dollars, and then you got to go in, and then you got to buy some more shit. No man, we about the people. Anyways, I'm trying to say you can come in, this, tap in, see me stroking my meat off on only again, a couple boys, of dollars. It's your dollars, man. It's the Black Street Boys, man. No, no Back Street. The, the Black, Black Street. Street. No Black Street. Is the, Black, the Black of the Berry, the sweeter, yeah. the motherfucking yeah. juice. No so, diggity, no. Come doubt. on, man. Come on, dog. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, hopefully y'all enjoy this, man. And uh, shit, we gonna catch y'all next week, man. Uh-huh. Every, we, we, we going for every Wednesdays. All right, y'all. Blackstreet Boys, we gone, man. No diggity, no doubt.